Fuck him, not ready. Duang, Duang, thank you for the two months. I I just, I couldn't hold back anymore. I was sitting here replaying P4G and I just saw that advertisement for Persona 4 Arena and my heart was melting and I was just like, damn it, I need to play it. <laughs> oh, I hate this controller so much, it's so bad. Uh, sure. Why not? Why? I don't have a choice. No, why would you want to check for downloadable content? The following sponsors are responsible for this program. <laughs> cool. Oh, shit. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, that's an intro! <laughs> Persona 4 Arena, the 8 bit oh, wow. Nani, also 3 months. Like, yeah. Yeah. Resolution seems to be a bit wonky here. Persona 4 Arena. Like an idiot. <laughs> oh shit, it's changed! Suddenly Persona 3 music! Wow! Walking, crouching, jumping. What the fuck? 
cool. Let's go and start with the first one, which is walking. Because I have no idea how to walk. Oh, shit. It's the boifs. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm beating up my boif. <laughs> Suck your skates, dicker. Also, you are pretty cool, I guess, Shen, dude. Thank you.
Thank you for the six months. Yeah, Bowie, six months and you're playing Persona. Yusuke is being a asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. He is. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I did it! Let's try a move that can be done while you're being knocked back. Take a hit from the opponent and hold one of the attack ones while you're in the air. Persona! <laughs> ah. Oh god! I'm starting to understand slowly. Oh, so how loud is the game compared to my voice, guys? Do I need to turn it down a bit? <laughs> is that better? Is, is that better? Suddenly it's too low. Okay. How about now? <laughs> I gotta find the perfect balance here. A little louder. Good, nailed it. Sweet. Alright. Donna Combs is allowed to perform her co Fuck. Oh, rip. Uh, sorry, Yosuke. It's part of the tutorial. <laughs> oh, great. The P combo. Oh, yikes. I'm so scared. I don't understand. Press to lose tendency, then. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I'm so confused. Wait, oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. Yosuke, you, you might want to come back here a bit. <laughs> Yosuke! Yosuke! Come, come here, Yosuke! Come, come over here, Yosuke! <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I gotta, I gotta make sure that I'm doing- This is the first time I'm holding a P3 controller in my hands in like a super long time. I don't remember the buttons! Ah, oh, fuck. Rip. Yeah, if you launch the opponent up, press to continue your assault. Okay. <laughs> ah, shit. The blowback. Nice. Okay. Alright. Yes, this is actually on a PS3. Okay. Mmm. Sweet. Press to the center and like how you perform a sweep. Wait, what? Oh. Ah. A furious action is a powerful skill as it press. Great, which one are these two? Okay. Ah. Oh my god, there's so many combos! Well, I mean, it's a fighting game. You, it's, it's expected. I just grabbed him! Air throw. Can I kill me? Oh! Yeah! Yeah! 
he jumped! I he jumped! <laughs> it's so There we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> he he jumped! <laughs> Use the throw escape move to prevent opponents from throwing you. While you're being grabbed, press some- Oh shit. Oh no, please! There we go, okay. Jesus, that was a spin. <laughs> Perform skills by entering a sequence of- You're not coming? Wait, what? Alright. Wait, what? Wait, I'm so confused, what? Wait, what? What? I, I don't understand. Am I stupid? What? Okay, 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 ah! Okay. Wrong one. There we go. That's ridiculously hard. Mm. You did it. Many skills allow you to skill boost them by pressing- Oh shit. Ah, uh, so it still has the SP system. Kidding me? Oh no! Oh no! Oh t Jesus! Oh fuck! Wait. Just get started. There we go. That works. There we go. Oh no! I killed him. <laughs> Yeah, wicked speed skills are powerful. Music, oh, he's smiling the accent. 
cool. I got it. It's asking me to hit Yosuke's persona four times. Go, Go, oh. Go, Don't get Ouch. Go, Here goes. Cool. Nice. <laughs> See what happens when you are frozen. Try getting hit by dry ice attack. Press. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was that, Yosuke? Thank you. <laughs> it just threw an ice pack. See what happens when you are shocked. When shocked, you cannot move normally with direction. But. Oh. Ah, okay, that makes sense. When I'm panicked! <laughs> oh shit! It's reversed! Cool. Goodbye, I'm leaving. Wait, what? I'm, I'm backstepping, what? Can I kill me? I'll, I'll, I'll continuously backstep. I, I don't know what this, what does this mean? What, what does this mean? I'll just, I'll just do it. I'll, hello? Oh, okay. There we go. How are you supposed to- Okay. Guard cancel. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Oh, wrong buttons. Right, okay. Wait, what? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Yosuke, please stop hitting me! That's an all-out attack. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Which buttons are these? No, it's the right ones. What am I doing? What? Oh, right. Okay, all right. I, I just read that wrong. 
Canceling. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Wait, okay, so. Like, wrong one. Wrong one. Nope. Nope. That's also not correct. I hate this. I'm doing that! I'm doing that! Fucking whatever. There we go. Thank you. That was wrong?! Are you for real?! I hate this. Why was that wrong?! Hey, Yosuke, how about you come here and suck my dick? I, s I swear to God. How is this so difficult? What? Hello? Mm. Ah! I, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. This game hates me. Well, I there we go. I did that twice now. Hey, King Rex Raptor, thank you for the three months. Welcome. Ah, oh, no! Not more! I hate this. One more cancel. Simultaneous! Oh! Okay, wait, okay. Alright, alright, I got this. Oh, whoops. Nope. Shit. Oh! I- I hate this so much, it's so hard. <laughs> I hate this. Why is it so hard? What? I hate. Why? 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 I press that, but it doesn't work. I. I'm gonna die! <laughs> what? Oh! Well, that was easy. <laughs> oh, no! There's even more! Oh, no! 
cool. I hate life. There we go. Huh. Oh no, there's more! It is- Available during a round that will win you the entire match if you- What?! It is only available during a round that will win you the entire match if you win- How does that make sense?! Insta kills a fire, the specific command of your character- One, two, three. Nope, that's it. <laughs> Yay, go <Yosuke>. skate. <laughs> Did she get into the. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, wait, am I pressing the wrong things? No, I'm not. Oh my god. <laughs> nope. story first. <laughs> or like the first story? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Tea bag to win. You know, Justin says, okay, cool, thanks. Hey, I did it. Thanks. Are we going right into story mode? Sure, why not? How is he alive? <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. Let's get into the damn story and cringe together, boys. Nah, I'm gonna be charmed as fuck. Oh! Welcome oh to God. the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality, oh. mind and matter. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. This is what? The persona ability is the power Reaches to control one's own heart. Uh -oh. And the heart is strengthened this. through bonds. Hey, thank you so As much. You oh, wow, it's been a year others, already, also. Your own social links will gradually Insta develop. Kill. Seems the power about of right. these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Thanks. Ryuki, thanks for the one year. Welcome back. I, I'm very tempted. <laughs> oh. oh right, this is like This is like after the, the game, so he's a third year. I like that description. Who was the brains of the investigation team? He's smart! <laughs> Praise the Yosk! <laughs> Why not start with you? Um commit what? The bot's dead, guys. The bot's fucking dead, okay? <clears throat> hey, Cherry Pie, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back. So, are you guys ready for, uh... I can't believe I've been stuck in Persona Hell for three months. Me too. Someone save me. Save me? them. <laughs> save us! I... <laughs> I'm gonna play as Yosuke first. Or sh yes. I wish you good luck. Thanks. I want to start with Yosuke. Because 
He's my sweetheart and I love him. You guys shouldn't know this. Come on. It's not that hard. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh no, the bow animation is so bad! Busy day. Oh shit! Ah, I want P5 back. Oh no. <laughs> I regret so many things. Golden week, huh? The holidays fell on pretty good dates this year. I hate this mouth moving animation. It's so bad. Juness will be open for business during Golden Week 2. Come for our exciting Golden Week events. Stay for the low, low prices. I can't look at you, Yosuke! Uh. Why is it so floppy? I don't know. Then again, it's my fault for taking this shift. Yes. It is. You know, I'm gonna have to accept this. It's so bad, but whatever. Oh shit, are we reading as Yosuke? I can yap all I want, but the only reply I'm gonna get is my own echo. Cool. <laughs> I begin to feel lonesome, so I start mopping faster. Shit. <laughs> Such is life for Yosuke Hanamura, a high schooler working at Juness, in his only shopping center. Yosuke, what the fuck are you thinking in your head? <laughs> I got a lot of crap thrown in my direction because I'm the manager's son, but thanks to dealing with all that stuff, my skills have improved and now I sometimes act as supervisor. I'm proud of you, my boy. Today's just another day on the job. He tries. The city Yasu Yasuinaba, you know, the city, is a rural, rural country town that doesn't have anything more than rivers and mountains. At least it's got a chain running through it, but it isn't useful for com Fuck, through the big city and Ida was not pretty enough to get sightseers. It's a dead spot. Really, just coming to Janessa to shop is a pastime to the people in this town. Our store carries more than food and daily commodities, and there are special spe Shut up, Razor. Special Speciality How am I having trouble with this one word? It's not even a hard word! It's a specialty? Speciality? Spe Stores. <laughs> There's a food court and a playground on the roof, too. <laughs> we even hold events sometimes, too. All that stuff makes for some really busy week. <laughs> <laughs> we even hold events sometimes, too. Oh, wait, I just read that. I'm stupid. When is an exit? holiday, you start to see cars with out-of-town license plates in the parking lot. And now it's Golden Week. This is the busiest this place gets all year. However... <laughs> well, I'm taking tomorrow off. Yeah, that's right, I'm free. Are you? Normally, this definitely wouldn't be the time to be taking a day off. I saw the look on my dad's face when I turned my time off request, but I didn't care. Absolutely can't miss tonight, Mara, because you're seeing your boyfriend, probably. Partner's gonna be back. I hate your mouth right now. Look. Ugh. Ugh. Oh no. And by partner, I mean the guy who transferred the city last year, Yunaro Kami, my boyfriend. You know how gay that sounds? You know how gay that sounds? There's a reason I call him partner and not just my friend. <laughs> See, he and I solve a case that happened last year in this tiny little town. I also occasionally sucked his dick. And it wasn't some dinky ass. Dinky ass! <laughs> dinky ass. Problem like finding a lost cat or anything. This was a big series of murders. On top of that, these weren't just any ordinary murders. The de crimes took place in a world inside the TV. There were these monsters called shadows living there, and he shows his shadow. You and I somehow got this, got this power to defeat them, called personas, and from that point on, we started fighting and investigating. <gasps> oh, I <laughs> look at you's face in that little picture. He's like, whoa. Luckily, we came across allies. They also had that same ability, but even they, and then every day was a fight for survival. Together, we overcame danger after danger. I don't know why I keep making hand movements. You guys can't see me. With karmas like these, the word friend just doesn't cut it anymore. Oh, God. <laughs> but 
you only call you partner? That goes double for- See? <laughs> I'm indebted to him and I trust him with all my heart. Than best. Fuck! <laughs> Yosuke, why do you cock block yourself? Atlas, explain! <laughs> Unfortunately, my partner had to return to the city at the end of the school year. <laughs> but we're promised to meet up again during Golden Week. That was two months ago. It seemed like an eternity. I couldn't wait. He's. I understand why people ship them so much. You know, this is... this is fine. <laughs> but he'll be back tomorrow. I've only been working so hard lately so I could take Golden Week off. Sweetheart. I'm so pumped about tomorrow that I just can't relax. I can't wait to see... I can't wait to see his boyfriend! Alright. Time to go home and get ready for tomorrow. Let's go, Teddy. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Teddy's this, uh... he's... um... <laughs> He's this animal suit thingy that we met last year inside the TV. He's a feather brain as they come, but just, you just can't bring yourself to hate him. That's where you're wrong, kid. <laughs> I ended up being the one taking care of him. I took advantage of his appearance, and now he works as a ghost. <laughs> I took advantage of his appearance. Let's quote that under Yosuke Hanamura as a costume detention grabber for Juness. He's supposed to be on the same shift as me. Daddy. Hello? Where is that guy? That's weird. He usually comes running in, ready to leave work. I asked the cleaning ladies, but nobody's seen him since lunch. This is getting strange. He looks laid back, but he's a responsible worker, so I doubt he's slacking off. Is this him? Oh, it's Chie. Okay. <laughs> oh, Yo, damn Chie, it. what's up? Oh, I'm glad you picked up. Are you free to talk right now? I was about to say, what happened to her voice? Chie Satonaka. She's a fellow classmate at Yasugami High School. She's another of the comrades that fought with us late last year. Those of us who used Personas formed an investigation team and we went about solving the case. You said that before. We did it because we were the only ones who could find the killer and stop the murders. You was our leader, just so you know. Thanks! I... D I couldn't tell. <laughs> Chie was in charge of brainstorming, I guess. Oh, and steak. I mean, uh, not that she was our leading expert on steak, but she just liked it a lot. She can't wait for Yu's return either. Is she calling him out tomorrow? She probably just forgot when, where we're meeting up. I decided to mess with her a little. Yeah, I just got off work. No, that's really good messing with her. Didn't I already email you about tomorrow? You deleted it without reading it, didn't you? I didn't delete it! <laughs> ha! She's so defensive. I didn't even send her an email. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious! <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> anyway, she suddenly gets serious. Anyways, I heard a sort of disturbing rumor. I don't like this. Why does her voice actor sound different? The Midnight Channel might be back again. Huh? The Midnight Channel? These mouth animations are throwing me off. <laughs> This takes me back. This takes. This takes me back, right? This takes me by surprise. The Midnight Channel. That was an urban legend that became popular last year. If you stare into a blank TV at midnight while it's raining, you'll see your true love. Wasn't it so main? Sounds sketchy, I know, but it was true. It wasn't even true, Yosuke! I mean, you didn't see your true love or anything, but it did show somebody on the TV. Thank you. Long story short, whoever was shown on it was an ex victim in the series of murders last year. But it turned out that there was some crazy guy doing the actual dirty work. In the end, we showed him and put the urban legend to rest. Or at least, so I thought. There's no way. Who told you that? An underclassman at our school. I tried to get more details out of her, but she took off in a huge hurry. Dude, you didn't growl at her or anything when you asked her about it, did you? <laughs> I can see it now. Chia grabbing the poor kid by the collars. Scarring her out of her skin. Oh, sc scarring? Not scaring. How do you... Scaring her out of her wits. Right, okay. 
<clears throat> She'd do it too. She doesn't stop once she gets an idea into her head. No, I was completely normal. At least I think I was. So anyway, the girl she was with said something about a fighting show. I didn't get any details, but she didn't seem like she was lying. Fighting show? That's definitely like what was being shown on the Midnight Channel last year. Oh no! Four show! <laughs> Maybe we should just miss hearing the other students talking about some normal sports program. Now, wait! I think I heard some customers talking about that today. Blah! Blah! They were talking about the Midnight Channel? Hey, the forecast says it's gonna rain tonight. Why don't we check it out? Oh yeah, no. Yeah, good call. If this is for real, we can't ignore it. But if it turns out to be a hoax, you better buy me dinner. Hmm, then you owe me steak if it's true. What? Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Like, Yuri sounds so disinterested in this. <laughs> I was trying to lighten the mood, but things didn't really turn out that way. I'm sure my partner would have done a better job at it. And so we thinking of you. <sighs> so heartwarming. <laughs> He'd say, don't worry, I'm here or something. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Midnight Still. Channel, huh? If it's true, that guy is a disaster magnet. Come to think of it, the incident last year started the moment you came to Inaba. If this new Midnight Channel rumor is true, I'm going to start calling him the mystery maker. That is, if it actually shows anything. <laughs> Honestly, I'm around 90% sure nothing's going to happen. There's no way anything's going to show oh, up. Yeah, I should call Kanji too, just in case. You call Kanji? Kanji was another member of the investigation team. He's a year younger than the rest of us. Because of his looks and the way he speaks, people get the impression that he's a violent hoodlum. Poor dude. He's actually a hardworking, honest guy. Coming from Yosuke, that means a lot. He's not the type to screw around at night, and I'm sure he'd be eager to answer call from an upperclassman. Like, okay, never mind. I take that back. <laughs> huh. It's not picking up. Maybe he's so busy and it is. <laughs> yeah, you know what I just said about Yosuke? Never mind. <laughs> Despite appearance, Kanji has a surprising knack with delicate needlework. <laughs> and he's no slouch either. His work's as good as people who make a lot of money selling this stuff. Up until last year, he kept that hidden because it doesn't mesh with his image. But a lot of stuff happened and now he's not so hung up on it. <laughs> he now sells his handmade knitted dolls at his family's shop, Tsumi Textiles. They're actually pretty popular. And lately he's been carrying yarn and knitting needles with him all the time. Uh, come on, answer already. Guess I'll try his home phone, too. Please do. <laughs> Tatsumi Textiles should be closed now, so I shouldn't have a problem getting through. And to back up my theory, Kanji's mom picked right up. Hello, this is the Tatsumi residence. Oh, hello. I'm sorry to call at such a late hour. Uh, this is Yosuke. Um, is Kanji-kun there? Oh, hello, Yosuke-kun. As for Kanji... Yosuke-kun! <gasps> Did something happen? I can't find him. Oh, no. You can't? I thought he was sleeping in the living room, but he wasn't there when I checked in on him. Oh, no! I thought he might be with you. Oh, yes. We're going to have an all-night study group, and I bet I just missed him. I'll wait up for him here. <laughs> okay, then. Good night. Oh, man. I totally panicked Darren came up with some lame BS. <laughs> God, he's not there. He left without a word, without a trace? I suddenly thought of Teddy, too. No one's seen him since this morning, either. He didn't tell me anything about where he'd be. Hold on, could this be? Uh, why am I freaking out so much? This is Kanji we're talking about. So what if I can't get a hold of him? I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I tried to reassure myself that everything's okay, but my anxiety doesn't go away. First, they disappeared, and then this new Midnight Channel. Give me a break, man. Yosuke, your room's a mess! Damn it, I just want to fall asleep. I figured Teddy isn't home either. I grabbed some food and headed to the... <sighs> Wait, I gotta do this. has to be done guys i'm sorry look at this photograph <laughs> it makes me laugh. 
It's it's right there. It's right there. It, it's it's right there. The fucking Nickelback album. <laughs> It's right there! <laughs> Wait! Here, I, I, I swear! Here, look, look! I'm not joking! I'm crying! Guys, I'm not making this shit up! Look at me! like this <sighs> oh my god here let's readjust this <sighs> Jesus Christ Yosuke there's only so much I can take and you're breaking me Greetings. You have not Cuddy Marie thank you Ka Katie you. Marie thank you so much for the two months welcome back I hope I said that right this game is gay congrats Shen love you thanks I can't believe we ended up here. This is terrible. <clears throat> I grabbed some food and headed to, <sighs> to my room. It's been a while since I had to wait for midnight to watch the Midnight Channel. The wait is always so long. I can't do anything but keep looking at the TV, so I start fiddling with the remote. This is iNews, and here are our top stories. We begin with a hijacking of a domestic flight to Kagoshima yesterday morning. Police began their interrogation of the suspects today. Man, things are crazy all over the country today. Last year, Ino was all over the news. People I knew were being interviewed left and right. Then again, I didn't have any time to pay attention to any of that stuff until we closed the case. Jumping in and out of the TV all the time really takes it out of you. I'd always hit the sack the instant I came home. I ought to be dead tired right now, with all, with, well, with all the work I've been putting in at Juness. But I'm so impatient that I'm really more annoyed than anything else right now. I stare at the clock and stare and stare. Damn it! Move you stupid minute hand! <laughs> My cell phone rings again. It's Yukiko this time. Yukiko Amagi, another member of the investigation team and best friends with Chie. Her perfect poi- Poiz? Po po I don't know what that means. Makes her the center of every guy's attention, but she's definitely not what I'd consider ladylike. Hello? Rude? Yosuke, what the fuck? <laughs> How can I put it? She's the biggest area. <laughs> Rude! I mean, if she's what every dude in Japan, in Japan wants, I think we're all in the first of trouble. Ignorance is bliss, and to judge by all the guys who are after her based just on her image, I really think that's true. Oh. Okay, goodbye. WHY IS THE PHONE STILL RINGING?! And to judge- <laughs> But you know- WHY ARE YOU NOT PICKING UP?! <laughs> I also think that the Yukiko I know now is better than a misplaced ideal. Because her family runs an old high-class hotel and she has pressures that other people can only imagine. But deep down, she's just a normal girl with real feelings. Like, I really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if Yukiko heard me saying this, she'd kill me. Yeah. Probably by making me eat her cooking. Her curry tastes like something they'd have to pass a lot to prevent people from ever discovering again. Um, Yosuke-kun? Good evening, this is Yukiko. I got an email from Chie a moment ago. Can you guys look at Yosuke's eyes? Why do they look like he's been smoking weed? <laughs> yeah, she told me to. About the Midnight Channel coming back, right? Sheesh. <laughs> Bet she was half asleep when she emailed you. <laughs> I could tell she was worried, so I tried making a joke. Come to think of it, Yukio never really calls me like this. She must really be worried. I waited for her to reply, but Yuki had to say next to me by I surprise. I a phone call saying that Risei-chan disappeared. Oh, oh, shit. I mean, not literally, but it seems they can't get in contact with her. Really? 
Ooh. <coughs> Reese is another part of the investigation team. She's our junior at Yasugami High. Her full name is Reese Kujikawa. Yeah, you recognize the name, right? The famous pop idol Reese Kujikawa, aka Rosette. Last year, she announced she was taking a break and came here to Inaba to live with her grandmother. But she started working again this year, so she's been going in and out of the city with all the stuff she's doing. For what Yukiko just told me, her manager couldn't get a hold of her all day and tried looking up the Amagi Inn to ask Yukiko if she had any ideas. She didn't mention any problems she was having to you, right? No, I think she would have told us if anything was troubling her. She was busy, but happy to be working. Right. And now rumors of the Midnight Channel coming back. Yeah. Yukiko's voice is gloomy. Listening to this is making me restless, too. But if you're depressed, you start thinking about more bad things. Yosuke knows this. Going down that road is going to get to Yukiko. What would you do? Shoot, this is the millionth time I've fought that today. Yosuke, you're gay. That's why. Anyway, I try to cheer Yukiko well, up. Let's not get carried away. First, we need to see if the Midnight Channel's really back. There's no use worrying over things we don't know are happening. It's always important to be sure first, right? He's so sweet. Mm, you're right. Thank you, Yosuke-kun. I hear the relief in Yukiko's voice when she hangs up. And let out a sigh. Ah, oh, A big sigh that I could never have let Yukiko hear in her state. Teddy's nowhere to be found. Kanji's vanished too. And to top it off, no one can get a hold of Rise. And for that Midnight Channel rumor to start up again at the exact same time- this is way too much to be a coincidence. Out of habit, I start going through the contacts in my phone. When I reach the name Yuna Arakami, I hesitate. DON'T HESITATE! CALL YOUR BOOF! He's not even here yet. I'll only make him worry. As leader of our investigation team, you have the biggest part in it all. But he's done with all that now, living a normal life back in the city. He's coming back to enjoy our reunion. I don't want to make him worry. If anything, I should call him after I know something. I open the curtain and look outside like Chia said it, <laughs> said it was raining. All the condition, conditions for the Midnight Channel to show up have been met. If it's going to, that is... No. Can't happen. It's over. I said it out loud, but in my heart, I'm dreaded that it'll show. It was like I was almost looking forward to it's it. It's almost midnight. My boy! My boy! Oh no. How gay can one man be? Pretty gay. Rivals. They are friends. Yes, powerful foes. Whoa. The desperate fighting program among high school students. What the fuck? A new legend is about to start. Whoa! Be the manliest of all men. Come on down. Nobody touches his precious Nanako, the sister complex kingpin of steel. <laughs> <laughs> in the boonies by day, hero by night. Oh my god. Oh my god. A spunky Great. dragon with deadly names. The carnival discarded womanhood. She is What? <laughs> Please escort me to the ring, my prince. The unconquerable snow black, Yukiko Amagi. Ah, uh, okay. She in one strike. Blooming roses and bulging muscles, the blood curdling beefcake emperor, Kanji Tatsumi! Deep into realms of romance. What? The body of a Ka child, what? The brain of a genius, the 2000 IQ killjoy detective. Fight and survive towards the one throne waiting at the end. The P1 Grand Prix, where fierce fights will be fought. The battle begins <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh Jesus! <laughs> They're all shocked. So am I. I don't understand. What the fuck? yourself on TV is really shocking. Am I really that goofy looking? No, that's not Why it. They call me Captain Rasantimal. 
Rasatama. I know that word from King Moron's class. What was it again? Something about the weak hating the strong? Some kind of jealousy? Now where the hell would I get a lame name like that? Just the sound of it makes me mad. Rasatama! This is too much. This is way too much. Now I know why Yuki Koi Kachi hated the Midnight Channel so much! Well, I thought I knew all about what happened last year, but this time I am actually experiencing it! See, everyone who ended up as part of the investigation team was on the Midnight Channel at one point. And the Midnight Channel doesn't just show any old you. It shows the weakest part of you, the part you don't want to come out, but made super size. In other words, fake footage of you, so humiliating that you want to crawl under a rock and die is broadcasted all over town. And you and I managed to not have that happen to us. So I guess I never really knew how bad it felt. Up until tonight, that is. Ugh, did everyone in town see this? And it's going to show up again every night it rains? Damn it. <laughs> how they managed to go on without skipping town is beyond me. Seriously, I gotta give them mad props for sticking it out. But, uh, that's not the time for oh, that. Was that Teddy in that weird costume? He was acting like the host. Does that mean he's the one broadcasting the Midnight Channel this time? Could it mean that Kanji and Risa are involved too? Ah, what's going on? Ah, oh, crap. Why was you on there too? And why now? What am I going to tell him? He comes back for the holidays and everyone's gonna be all, Oh, look, it's the sister complex kingpin. That's messed up. Should I tell him not to come? Wait, what can I tell him at all? Knowing me, I'll actually call him that myself. I know I'll at least say he has a sister complex. I won't be able to help myself. Shit! <laughs> As I wrestle with confusion, a sudden sound scares the living crap out of me, and I panic for a second. Get it together, Yosuke. You're a third year. Who could be calling me now? Aw, oh, hell no. Of all people, it had to be you! Uh. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> tell him. Don't tell him. I reflexively hit the answer button before I figure out what to say. Uh, hello, this is Yosuke. Yosuke? He's suspicious of me. <laughs> oh no! Like, really suspicious! I nervously passed the phone from one hand to the other several it's times. nothing. I just freaked out when you called all of a sudden. Yeah, that's it. What's up? Hey, when do you want to meet? That's not why I was calling. Oh boy. Oh no! <laughs> I know I said it. How I saw him, but Yu's voice was calm. Wait, is he laughing I at saw me? the Midnight Channel. You saw it too, right? Uh huh? My mind went blank. <laughs> How do you see it? Isn't it only a local thing? Don't tell me it's a nationwide broadcast now. Did Teddy not tell you? Since we're meeting up early tomorrow, I decided to come today. What? Maybe he sensed how bewildered I was since he explained everything so calmly. I see. So Teddy disappeared before he could tell me he was coming today. I'm still trying to piece together things together as you continue. I figured you wouldn't think I could have seen it, so I gave you a call. Oh. Well, I assumed you weren't here yet, so I didn't want to rely on you. Aww. Yeah, Yosuke. You yeah, big gay. <laughs> you haven't changed. Aww. Oh, I can tell he's a little angry now. I can't just see him shaking his head. I bet he can tell why I'm acting so nervous right now. Damn, this is embarrassing. So about it? You're not gonna leave this be, are you, Captain Rasantama? What? What? Why'd you zero in on that part? Did you see how they called you a sister complex kingpin? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's not that bad. Why are they going at each other? What? You think? Easy, so forgiving. That's just like him. Man, I really feel like an ass now. Well, I ought to tell you, that program's not the only strange thing lately. Teddy, Rise, and Kanji aren't here either. They disappeared. When I put it all into words like this, this sounds a lot worse than it had when I was thinking about it. I can hear a hint of tension in Yu's voice. Alright, we should get together tomorrow like we planned. Yeah, at the Jeunesse Food Court. Welcome back, partner. Aww. It's good to be here. Talking with you takes me back. Calling a partner was kind of sappy, I guess, but he takes it in stride. This is so gay. I suddenly feel a lot less confused now. He's something. 
decisiveness, confidence. He's got strength that I don't. Okay. Well, my guys happened to stop at my desk drawer. You're really gay. <laughs> I'll see it so many times. Yosuke, just accept it. <laughs> My career choice application is in there. Well, pass its due date. Oh, right. Sorry to say, I forgot to pick up your souvenir. A souvenir? Don't even worry about it, man. You sure? I thought you were really looking forward to it. Those nurses. <sighs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> What you? <laughs> Nurses? <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Warning bells go off in my head before I can figure out what's going on. You had sounded so calm because he was trying to hold back laughter all this time. Yeah, Teddy asked me to get it for you. He said you were crushed that they got burned. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, this is all... I didn't know you were into nurses. Guys, this is a canon game. I shall remind- Guys, this is canon, okay? Please do not forget this. <laughs> la, 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 shut up! It's enough! <laughs> Damn it, you're trying to wind me up, aren't you? Stay home, you jerk. <laughs> Aww. But I'm already here. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm barely resisting your just throw the phone across the room. <laughs> okay, don't panic. I need to call Chi and tell her about the plan tomorrow. How am I supposed to look everyone in the face tomorrow? As if it was reading my mind, my phone goes off again. Lo and behold, it's Chi calling. Uh, anyone can see what's coming next. Hello? What the hell was that carnivore who's discarded womanhood? <laughs> She is raging at the top of her lungs. I almost blew out my eardrum. I haven't discarded it. I haven't. You hear me? <laughs> I let her blow off steam for a bit. Once in a while, I have to check to make sure I haven't accidentally turned on the speaker phone. She's that loud. I mean, I know I have a feeling, but can you please calm down? I... I think that's also directed towards me and my loudness in my stream. Once she gets tired of complaining and hangs up, my fears and exhaustions are blown away. <laughs> I don't know what's going on yet, but I'm gonna find out. Then I'll crush whoever's behind this. Jesus Christ. I... I actually love... I love Yu's and Yosuke's interaction. It's so good. Genus is crowded as hell, thanks to Golden Week. I see some employees whispering to each other and looking at me, but I pretend not to notice. I run into you before everyone else. Thankfully, he doesn't bring up the nurse thing again, and instead he talked about the welcoming party he had with Nanako. Maybe there's a little truth to that sister complex line, huh? As we step into the food court, she and Yukiko are both sitting in their usual spots. Good to see you guys again. Welcome back! We missed you! You... Welcome back. Um, should we... Jesus. Huh? Oh, he already knows about the Midnight Channel thing. He's actually the one who called me up about it. Oh, I see. This has turned into a pretty thrown-together reunion, hasn't it? The, the, the mouth animation is really bad. I'm glad you came. Da, 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 da. Both of them sounded happy. <laughs> Get this fake-ass chi out of my face. Why is he in his Yasugami uniform? Yeah, Yosuke, what the fuck? 
Both of them sounded happy. If neither of them show this, I'm totally depending on your attitude toward me. What's up with that? Hey, Yosuke, why the long face? Shut up. It's a man thing. Just gotta deal with it. Oh, oh. is it about your guidance counseling paper? The teacher asked me to tell you that you need to hurry and turn yours in. Wait, what? Oh. Huh? You haven't turned that in yet? <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Shut up, shut up. That's not it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Seeing you take a seat, I clear my throat to grab their attention. All right, let's start this. It sucks that we can't hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the Midnight Channel going back on the air last night. Okay, thanks, Yosuke. Oh, the team is back! You shouldn't be happy about that, Yukiko. Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Guys, please! Yeah, let's do this! This is not a good thing! <laughs> oh, no, why uh, are you clapping? The applause is necessary. I don't think this is a good thing. I mean, it's pretty exciting, but the reason we're reforming the team is because there's another case to solve. I look to you for some support, but he's clapping along with the rest of them. <laughs> it too, not a copy. <laughs> anyway, seeing them all open to the idea takes some of the tension out of the situation. Let's get cracking. I mean, this is no laughing matter. No one's heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Rise. Just those three, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a hold of Naotoka, but I didn't tell her about this stuff. She told me she couldn't make it today because of her job, so I didn't want to worry her. She seemed pretty bummed that she couldn't be here, too. Aww. Naotoka's another investigation team member. She was the last to join, and she's one year below us in school. Even though she's a student, she's also a detective, and the cops rely on her for tough cases. Naotoka helped out a lot during last year's incident. She's incredibly skilled, but that also makes her really busy. Even after the events of the last year, she's been running around. She tried to get an opening in her schedule for today, but I guess it didn't work out. Um, one thing's been bothering me. The picture on the TV was very clear last night. I'm just gonna say one thing. I'm really happy that they actually gave you a solid personality through the spin-offs. It really makes him a much better character. It's really great. Yeah, going by the pattern from last year, it wouldn't be that clear until after the victim entered the TV. Hey, isn't this the first time a big group of people was shown together? Plus, we're still here. Why us anyway? And what's up with those insulting descriptions? Both Chi and Yuki will get angry, saying it's fake. But the pictures of them on the Midnight Channel were pretty accurate, if you ask me. Of course, I'd never admit it. Hell no. I do value my life, you know. What bothers me most is Teddy. He was acting like the host of that show. Yeah, and we can't find him. This smells fishy. Then again, I doubt he would play a prank like this for no reason. Is this is this the same voice actor for Chie or not? Because I feel like it is, only she's not doing the entire excited voice anymore. I can't tell. I agree there. We don't have much choice but to ask Teddy why he's doing this. Which means... I guess we'll just have to go inside the TV and find out what's going on. Won't we be stuck in there without Teddy to give us an exit? Uh-huh, not so. I've had Teddy keep the exit TV out on that side. Oh, this was the first time Aaron was doing Chia's- Oh, okay. Look at you, all prepared. I mean, think about it. What if we were half asleep and fell into a TV when Teddy wasn't over there? Isn't that a scary thought? Like anyone would be that clumsy. Anyway, it sounds like it's safe for us to go investigate then. Yeah, there's no doubt that something's going on in there. I I love Johnny Young Bosch. He's, his voice is <clears throat> crisp. The host, Teddy, has disappeared, but he isn't the only one missing. Kanji was listed as one of the participants, and Risa wasn't even mentioned on the TV. We're just gonna have to jump into the TV and investigate. You give us the order. Is everyone ready? Yes. We're all good to go. To tell the truth, I had a hunch that this was going to happen. I already lugged out all my weapons and junk today with the intention of going into the TV. It'll be my first time in the TV world in a while. It's the first time I've done anything out of the ordinary in a while. That was twice in a row. It, this is serious business, but I can't help but get excited about this. You know what? You know what I mean? The days when we ran around town as the investigation team. I mean, it wasn't all fun and games. There were plenty of hardships and, hot and sad times. Okay, let's go. But I learned a lot of important stuff because of them. 
It changed me. I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. Ah, so it makes me wonder, what about this time? Is something like that waiting for me? Something, something that's going to change me. Ah. Man, what am I thinking? Ah. I shake my head and focus on the task at hand. We don't know what lurks inside the TV. Neglig. Net. Negligence could mean death. I. I leave the food court with the rest of the investigation team. Oh shit. Cutscene. Why is you in the. Why does you have the outfit? He's not even going to school there anymore. Holiday, so the store's full of people. Huh. Feel like things are picking up around town. Oh wow! That was uh the mother. You know, it's been a while since last time. I'm a little nervous. Oh wait, there are still people in this aisle. Hey, get ready! Huh? The customers are going away. Uh huh. Oh, that's really weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was really that was really creepy. Oh. Oh god, they look like they're gonna murder me. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Isn't this different from usual? Oh no. Oh what boy. Do do? What can we do? We can't stop now. Oh boy, they're dying. Oh, they're gonna die. Oh fuck, they're de they're dead. I can't- I can't believe the IT's dead. I say that too often. Place of- sure. Cool. I- I don't know what that means. Is that like a save? <laughs> Is, I don't know. <laughs> oh. I can hear a lot of people talking from far away. Where am I? I'm at a desk? Oh. I raise my head slowly to find myself at the, my same old desk with the setting sun filling the room. Man, my mind isn't thinking straight. Wait, what was I doing? Shoot, did I doze off? Uh, I should hurry home and get to work. What the? All of a sudden, the sound of cheering echoes from outside. All the students in the classroom begin cheering and rush out of the room. The hell? Seriously, what is going on? Oh, one second, my nose. <laughs> I run to the window and look down into the schoolyard. The area in front of the school gate is swarming with students. What's going on? I look around, but there isn't anyone left in the room to ask. I don't want to go be a rubber necker. Rubbernecker? Just because everybody else is. But I have to find out what's going on. After some internal debating, I decided to take a look. Huh. There's a giant crowd at the school gate. The gate itself has some funky decoration and a big ass sign. One Grand Prix? I've seen those words somewhere before, but where was I? Where was it? Where did I see it? My mind's all hazy, I can't think. Oh boy. Oh, now what? You think it's funny causing a commotion like this at school? I better see everyone involved in this heading home right now. What the fuck? Does she have a Jersey accent? I turn around to look at where that whistle came from and see a female student standing there holding a megaphone. She has a long ponytail and strong willed eyes. Damn, she's really hot. Thanks, Yosuke. When did a girl like this end up in our school, and how did I not know about it until now? She really stands out, but I don't think I've ever seen her before. Where did they get this huge set? Some people are always up to shenanigans. I'm from Jazzy. <laughs> I can almost see that anchor picking off of her. She definitely has a lot of spirit, and yet none of the other students has so much as turn around. She gets ready to blow her whistle again when our eyes meet. Hello. Oh, it's you. That Grand Prix contestant, Yosuke-kun. I mean, Captain Ressentiment. 
Oh, Rip. right. I remember now the P1 Grand Prix that showed up on the Midnight Channel. Use the sister complex Kingpin and she is the spunky dragon. And I'm Captain Rassantamont. <laughs> what a fantastic nickname. I just want to go kill her. <laughs> I'll just post this in the Discord right now. <laughs> One second. <laughs> that was worth it, honestly. <laughs> oh, who the hell came up with this crap? What the heck is a P1 Grand Prix anyway? Ow! I just hit my finger against <laughs> Ah! Don't tell me it's being held at school. You're up to being part of it, huh? Well, listen up. You better cut this crap out quick. The student council didn't approve this. Huh? The student council? Come on! Don't tell me you don't remember who your student council Yeah, remember who your st student council president! <laughs> Student council president? What a prominent position like that. There's no way I wouldn't remember her. Hello, boys and girls of Yasugami. The P1 Grand Prix is about to begin. Hello, Rise. Boys. Is that Rise? She's here at school? They're even using the school PA system. How many times do I gotta repeat myself? This is your last warning. Stop this at once. Oh no, it's Miss Sourpuss. Sour She's trying to stop our fun. Everyone, get her out of here. Sourpuss! After he's against the order, all those students turn around to look at us and they rush straight at us. Sourpuss! She's not a single one of them gave a damn about their present up until now. Huh? Hey, you're kidding, right? Dude, Reese, do something about this. What are they trying to do to us? I'm not gonna start anything crazy here. But this probably isn't the time to start taking things easy, either. At the very least, I should get this girl to safety. I turn to her, surprisingly, like she's standing her ground in the face of all the students. She's definitely staring back at them. I warned you all. I warned y'all. I'm the trash man. <laughs> the president tosses her megaphone aside and lightly taps one of the charging students, and he slams to the ground as if a truck had hit him. The other students soon meet the same fate. It's like they didn't expect her to do anything. Before I know it, the student president is the only one left standing. That's amazing. So much for that. Then how about this? When Risa speaks, the monitor above the girl's head starts swinging back and You're forth. You're joking, right? My body moves out of instinct. What? Ah, what are you? The hell is going on? I yank her aside and shove her behind me to protect her. I look up and the giant monitor is right in front of my face. Oh shit! Thanks. Oh no, PowerPoint Jiraiya! <laughs> what are you doing here, PowerPoint Jiraiya? <laughs> go back, go back to dancing all night. <laughs> what was that you did? Oh no. <laughs> I slowly open my eyes to see someone I know very well standing before us. The other me, my persona, Jiraiya. The monitor was cut right in half, the two pieces lying on either side of us. I was able to summon my persona. Oh, wait, this isn't Yasugami High? You can only summon personas inside the... Hey, that's right. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I finally remember everything. <laughs> I jump inside the TV with you and the others. But wait. Then who is this girl? What the heck is our school doing inside the TV world? I'm sitting there confused, but Reese's voice chimes in front of the PA you system. Have just died. What? Huh? You aren't worth anyone's effort. You just get in the way and cause trouble for people around you. Reese. That was definitely Reese's voice. So I guess Reese is inside the TV too. But I never expect her to say anything that cool. What's going on here? I won't let you destroy the school. You're in the announcement room, huh? Well, wait there. I'm coming for you. Hey, what are you going to do? The student president starts running towards the school building. Then she turns around and waves. I, I cannot, I don't like her voice. 
After all that glaring, this is the first time I've seen her smile. Oh, she's cute. Yosuke, what is your fucking taste in women? Have you not heard her voice? <laughs> she runs off again like the wind. And she thanked me too. So I've gotten, <laughs> gotten in. No, bad Yosuke. This is no time to get hot and bothered. Wait up. It's too dangerous to go alone. Take this. Pulls out dick. <laughs> it was really impressive the way she was tossing those people left and right, but it's too dangerous to run around here without a persona. Besides, a word like this is the, the TV means. But as I try to chase after her, the PA cuts into my train of thought. Sorry about that mishap. The first round's challenger is already here. The watching students are all looking this way. Wait, does she mean that this challenger is... Me? Uh-oh. But first, the general has a few words for you all. Oh no. A new reminder to turn on. Hello, Teddy! Teddy is on it. Has finally come. I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix! Teddy, you bastard! What are you doing? You disappeared and we bring out his opponent! Hey, listen to me! Oh no. Who am I fighting? Am I fighting you, Narukami? Smoke shoots out, envel enveloping everything. Wait, someone's sitting out of it. Oh no! Filleted. Chie? Oh, it's Yosuke. What a letdown. Geez, sorry, it's only me. Hey, what's going on here? Risa and Teddy both seem, uh, ah. Uh. Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? What? She is acting weird. Okay, she's always weird, but this is weird, even by Chia's standards. Her eyes are gl glittering and she's- What the hell? Why is she licking her lips when she's staring at me? Hey, Yosuke, can I eat you? What? Huh? Sure. What? But Yosuke, what? Yosuke, can I bore you? <laughs> sure! Wait, what? <laughs> About. Oh my god! You. What are you saying? I, I mean, seriously. Wait a second. Maybe it's just a figure of speech for something more intimate. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's no way she'd have the guts to say that right in front of everyone. As I panic, Chia strikes a kung fu pose and makes a forceful declaration. What? So that is what you mean. And why are you saying that like you're quoting someone? <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be painless. No, nah, -uh. there's no way it won't hurt. You'll continue to live inside me. <laughs> no, ah, uh, oh, oh, she's more, she's into more. Get in your stomach. Thanks for the food, Persona. Fuck it, PowerPoint Persona. She, she summoned her Persona. Is she serious? Like, is she seriously going to knock down on a Yosuke fillet? Hell. <laughs> She's gone bye bye. Damn it, I gotta fight. She's gone bye bye. <laughs> I need to fight for my life. I do, I'm so. There's no way I'm gonna be her, be her three course meal. Oh shit, here I go into the game as I'm probably gonna. Oh fuck me, man. Get ready to see me completely fail. I forgot how anything even works. Oh boy. I hate this. I'm so scared. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! I don't know what I'm doing! Oh god, I'm so scared! Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Ouch! Please stop! Uh oh. Ow, that hurts! Ow. 
ouch, ouch. I don't know what I'm doing, no! Please! I'm sorry! Jesus! My heart. <laughs> wow, Danganronpa looks great. <laughs> Sassy thanks for the two heroes. And Emmy thanks for the four months. I love you, sweetheart. Oh, no. Ooh, looking cool, Joker. <laughs> I don't see what Yosuke's problem is. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> I beat her. What the hell was with her? Not even Shadow Chi was that cracked up. What's the matter with Chie? Does she go bonkers when her state gauge reaches zero or something? She groans and stirs from the ground. Oh, she's waking up. I hope she's not gonna start talking about eating me again. Ow! I I hope you've learned your lesson and never even think about attacking your friends again. I quickly put some distance between us and yell from a ways away. I think my voice shook a little, but can you blame me? I was really scared. First you insult me, then you kick my ass. Ooh, you moron. Insult you. Uh, what did I say? All I remember about what we said before we fight was her eyes, cold and sinister, like a tiger stalking her prey. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. You went on and on about how I'm a coward and a brat. When did I have time to say anything like that? You were about to eat me! What? Eat you? That had better not be a crude innuendo for anything. I meant it exactly how it sounded. I was scared to death of you, stupid Chie. What? Uh, you're stupid for calling me stupid, stupid Yosuke! <laughs> oh no! So that's something a brat would say. There you go again! You're the brat for calling me that! Oh no. One second, let me just quickly. One second. Okay. The monitor turns on. Teddy looks annoyed. Hey, we're the ones who should be annoyed with you. Sheesh, what's up with this? Come on, head over to the school building. Your next opponent's waiting! I'm not doing this anymore. You're obviously fine, so I'm going home. But she can't. She ain't Chan lost, so she can't even move from that spot! Oh. Uh -huh. Ow! There's something here! She ignored Teddy and started walking away, but she suddenly sits down and clutches her head. Huh? No one gets to leave until the tournament's over. Only the one who fights to the bitter end and is crowned victor can earn freedom! Good luck! Oh boy. The camera randomly zooms in on Teddy, giving a thumbs up, and then the monitor turns off. Damn that, Teddy! You have to actually do stuff before you start with the fancy camera work. Stuff like, oh, I don't know, explain what the hell is going on here. While I'm staring at the monitor, I can hear Chia yelling in the background. What's she doing? Yeah. She is doing jump kicks, but every time she does, she stops in midair before she lands. What the? That's a neat trick. It's like pulling punches, but in midair? Whatever it is, she's pretty good at it. She notices that I'm staring at her and turns toward me. There really is a wall. A wall? I try walking for the spot where she keeps getting stuck. Nothing. She looks surprised and tries to follow me, but... Wow, looks like she really can't pass through. Is this what Teddy was talking about? Only the victor can go on or something? Since when could he do fancy stuff like this? And he said that nobody gets to leave until this tournament is over, huh? So we don't have a choice but to go along with this. Well, uh, guess I'll be going then. There were four of us who came in here, so at most I need to fight two more battles, right? Are you gonna fight Yukiko and Yukin then? Of course not. The only reason I fought you just now is because you attacked me first. If there has to be a winner and loser, I'll just forfeit as soon as the battle starts. Aww. If I find Teddy along the way, I'll deal with him too. Oh, good.
good idea. In that case, don't be so harsh on your next opponent before the match, okay? You're the one who was doing that. I hope you don't start eating things off the floor when you get hungry. Why would I do that? I'll be waiting, so be careful. Tia's sudden meekness surprises me. She sees my shock and turns away. Huh, she feels helpless. It's like the one time you and I left her behind while we w went to the TV. There was no guarantee that we'd make it back, but she still waited for us. When we finally returned, she was so relieved she started crying. Same thing happened here. Chie. I pinch her nose. Got a really small nose, you know that? <laughs> Just get out of here already. <laughs> she boots me in the ass, but and I head over to the school building. Ah, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> She just doesn't know how to handle being teased by a guy. So with the look on her face, there was nothing else I could do. I hurry up and finish the Grand Prix. I pick up my pace, but I notice something. There are students peeking out of all the windows at me. No, they're not students. I take a closer look at them. I am in your hey, face. Dad Cat YouTube, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to Dojo. What's up, my German sausage? Pretty good. <clears throat> There's something else. Taking the ship of students. I guess they popped into their true form as well. We were fighting for some reason. They're like silhouettes. Are they shadows? But they don't really look like monsters. And I don't feel like they're actually hostile. I mean, they're not particularly doing anything either. They're just standing there. Are they just extra teddy- extras teddy made for this drama of us? If they're not any danger, then I guess I don't really have to figure them out. Still, I- still, threat or not, they're still pretty damn creepy. And if there are things like shadows around here- definitely inside the TV. What's uh. going on? Why is it a school? Damn it, I don't get this at all. I have doubts, but I keep on running. Sweet. He's a good boy. If I got a penny for every time Yosuke mentioned you, I'd be richer than Mitsuru. Yeah. I take a look around the halls as I enter the building. Yep, and there it is. There's a monitor in front of the stairway that I don't remember being there before. This must be where the second round is going to be. I raise my voice. All right, is this the place? Bring out the next challenger. Greetings. You have done well. I am Hey, Flastos, face with one ear. Wait, shit, it's been an entire year. Let's play a game, Shen. Pick any game you want on Steam. Heads or tails. Ah. Oh. I don't have a game. Huh. Tails. Because I like Tails from Sonic. Hey! Bread, thank you so much for the 500 biddies. How are you doing? As if in response, the monitor turns on and Teddy's stupid costume fades in. Hey, that's my line! Jeez, stop throwing me off like that! If you don't stop this prank soon, I'm going to make your next shift a living hell! One second. Okay, if you don't stop the spring soon, oh wait, shit, fucking, why am I reading that? I'm sorry, I was replying to Tyler. <laughs> Usually a threat like that would have Teddy begging you for mercy, but he just hums a little tune as if nothing was the matter. What's with him? Not just Teddy, Reese is helping him out too. Wait. This will be a surprise for you? No! Sensei's coming back, so I thought up this cool surprise party. Sorry, but I forgot to tell you. That sounds like him. That sounds so like him. After we solved the case last year, the TV world turned into a safe place, so... I guess I could see that. Would Teddy really make us fight? Oh no, is it Yukiko? The smoke starts whooshing out again. Four of us jumped into the TV at Juness, so I'm betting it's... It'll be you or Yukiko this time. But if this is a surprise party for you, then it should be... Yasuke-kun! I knew it. Alright! Hey Yukiko, I want to ask you something. Is this some kind of surprise party? You guys didn't tell me anything about. As I was, as I, I was, was, as I was walked towards Yukiko, as I was walk toward Yukiko, she suddenly holds up her fan. What's that stench? Huh? I thought there was a wet dog here. Huh? Does she mean me? I take a couple of whiffs of my shirt, but I can't notice anything odd. Did I get all sweaty from that fight with Chie? 
still being told right to my face that I stink really hurts. And to compare to what dog? Sorry. Oh. Um, so, Yukiko san, did you run into Teddy or Rise? They're calling this a Grand Prix and making us fight to see who the winner is. Apparently, we can't leave until. You're talking too much. I have about as much interest in what you're saying as I do in Plankton. Plankton? But you can't even see those without a microscope. <laughs> Yukiko is acting strange. Even stranger than Chie. Well, not crazy strange. She acts more like Yukiko than ever, but she'd never come out and say something like that that meme. Anyway, back to the topic Yukiko, at hand. this isn't a welcome back surprise for you, is it? Oh. Hmm? No, it's a grand prix for you, Yosuke-kun. And given what a goddamn pain in the ass it's been so far, I can't wait till it's over. Dude, what's with the language? Have even you gone nuts? What the hell, man? Oh. I keep picking Yukiko has no arms! No, no, I can't unsee it! Oh no! Why did you have to point that out? Oh no! <laughs> that she just looks like a fight. <laughs> Wow, this is the exact opposite of how she normally acts. She really is a snow black. Wait, so if that's what the commercial called her, and the way she was acting... Oh, so that's why hers was carnivore. That makes sense now. Those nicknames have some truth to them, then. But why? Because Teddy told them to act that way? They're not not all crazy, the, are they? The Grand Prix for me? What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Now you're ignoring me? Ugh. Even if this is all an act, it's still soul-crushing. Hey, uh. listen, we can't leave here until the Grand Prix ends, so let's just half-ass this. If you don't mind going on to the next round, I'll forfeit without attacking you. Oh, though if we did it that way, you'd have to fight again. It'd be fast if I won and got my hands on Teddy. I'd hate to make Yukiko go on ahead and have to fight even more of us. That's probably not such a good Yukiko, idea. will you lose this round for me? Even though you've lost in the battle of life? What the fuck? Yikes, this snow black is really bad for my fragile ego. Oh, are you okay? Yukiko suddenly opens her fan in one fluid motion. Jesus. Oh my god. She smiles faintly, but her eyes aren't smiling. Wait, she's pissed at me? So what? So now snow black can't take a back being called snow black? Why is my fan so large? Why, my dear? The better to shut up that filthy mouth of yours. That's the wrong fairy tale. Ah, oh, fine. I'll end this as quick as I can, so bear with me for a bit. Oh no, this is gonna suck. Wow, things are starting to heat up. Let's get this battle started. Dang it, Risa, quit goading her on. You could go as being nasty in a different way from the carnivore, but I've got to take her on. Damn, looks like I really have to overcome the Amagi challenge if I want to get out of here. Jesus Christ. Oh, now here I go. I'm gonna be bad at this. Oh, I'm gonna suck. Oh, God. Please bear with me, guys. <sighs> Just spam! Oh god! Finally! But you can go send Kai on her stand for taking the stage! Come on! Oh fuck! Ow, 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 ow! Oh fuck! Oh my god, she's screwed! Oh my god, I really am bad! Wow, I really am bad at this. Ouch! Oh my god! I don't know anything! Okay, time to look at the command list again! Okay. 
All right, guys, come on. Listen up to all of you bitches who are in chat like, oh, she's so bad. This is the first time I'm playing a fighting game, and it's the first time I'm playing this fighting game with a PS3 controller. So if you guys could shut the fuck up, that'd be really great. I already said I'm going to be bad at this. <sighs> can I restart the battle? Uh, I, I guess I can't. Oh boy, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Unfortunate. Better luck next time. Yep. I, d I really don't know what's happening. Okay. Yes. End me. <laughs> End me. Welcome to the Velvet. No. Room. This place exists between dream and reality. Uh. Very well. Let's do that again. Yukiko spam. Okay. I really. Okay. Before, before we actually. Whoo! Merge slash. All right. <laughs> Can you never copy some of the sword in me, please? to use. <laughs> the zone. That bitch is crazy. Hell yeah. Welcome to the It really room. is hard. Like if you if you don't exist Yes, yes. Well. If you don't know what you're doing, it's like really hard. <laughs> Final. Oh my! Oh fuck! Oh boy! Are they starting to get a little tired? Oh my gosh! One side has a spot. Oh. Will that be enough? Not bad. Oh, an awakening. Will this turn the table? Oh, boy. Excuse me. Oh, my God. I can't. I'm so bad. Yosuke is close range. Damn. <laughs> so the bu block button will say- Oh, she's a spammer. Okay. Cool. Alright. G 
she came to her senses when I beat her. So what about Yukiko? I'm still scared of my wits, but I tried to talk Yukiko, to her. Are you all right? Oh, thank goodness. You've gone back to your usual self, Yosuke-kun. What? Oh, are you back to normal too? Huh? But you just seem so eager to fight no matter how I tried to stop you. You said things like, I was taking the easy way out. I was sure that you just weren't in your right mind. You noticed that Tere and Risei-chan are acting strange too, right? I think maybe they're under the enemy's control. That doesn't sound good. Crap, so this isn't an act? They're being mind-controlled or something? That explains a lot, actually. Damn it, some surprise party. Still, Teddy's controlling people? Or is Teddy becoming being controlled by somebody else? Control? Who could make them act that weird? No ordinary person could pull that off. Then why would they do it to start a stupid tournament like this? I think back to what Yukiko said before we fought. It's a grand pre, pre for you, Yosuke-kun. For me? Like hell it is. I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm not enjoying it. I I'm not! In any case, I'm gonna go put an end to this Grand Prix. If it's just us four, there's only one more battle to go. Yukio didn't know what was going on either, so I explained what I found out. Only the winner can move, can move on. And nobody can leave until there's a champion. And that, since I fought Shia and Yukiko, my next fight should be with you, and that would be the end oh, of it. And one more thing. There was a student council president. She wasn't in that intro movie that aired on the Midnight Channel, and she acts like he's against this whole thing, so I don't think I'll end up having to fight her, but but she doesn't know about Persona, so I can't just let her run around oh, loose. do you mean the girl with the ponytail? You met her? Mm-hmm. When I talked to her, she said she was going to the announcement room. I tried to stop her, but an invisible wall blocked my path. Oh yeah, that's right. She said she was going to the announcement room to stop Risei. Oh, that's not good. If Reese is being controlled by someone behind all of that this- That girl's in danger. Really? Sorry, I gotta go. I'll end this as fast as I can and come back for you. Oh, okay. Be careful, and try to help out that girl. I'm sure you can do it, Yosuke-kun. Got it. Yukigo's clear, strong voice gives me that extra push. The stupid tournament might look stupid- The- Yosuke! Stupid tournament might look stupid, but if there's some third party behind this, it may be more serious than I'd first thought. Anyway, to the announcement room. Feats, don't fail me now! Hmm. Nice. Damn it! It's supposed to be pretty easy to get to the announcement room, but thanks to all these stupid invisible walls, I have to take the scenic route. I finally managed to make it to the second floor. If I keep going straight, I'll go to the stairs and then I'll be right there. Oh, Miss President! I found her! I can see her running up ahead, her long ponytail trailing out behind her. But there was another shape next to her, a round, familiar over one. Over here, over here! Ooh, oh, what? Looking cool, Joker! Hi, Teddy! Flash fix for the three euros! It landed on Tails. Sent the Steam Redeem in DMS. Enjoy Sorry Not Sorry. Wait. I gotta check this out. You did what? Sent the Steam Redeem in DMs. Flask, I don't see a DM from you. Oh boy. Um. Flask. Flask, I. What? Wait. One second. Uh, oh no. 
Oh, oh my god! Tyler, stop! Oh no! One second, guys! Everything's going wrong! Was I too late? <sighs> Jesus, wait a second. I I need to. There we go. I tried to catch up, but I ended up slamming into an invisible wall and falling to the ground. Oh, it felt like my butt cracked. Again, Yosuke. Come on, don't pull me like that. Miss President, are you okay? Let go of his hand. That bear's not in his right mind. I shout out, hoping that I can at least get my voice to reach her, but the two of them disappear through the emergency exit at the end of the hall. I knew it. She might be strong, but Miss President isn't a match for a persona taunting Teddy. She has to have been captured. Hey, Brad, thank you for the 500 bitties. Well, I got to go and be an adult and earn money for my bits. Y'all have fun and be safe. Okay, He's see you around. Being controlled. Teddy's not the type who would walk a girl home. Uh, I think. I mean, he wouldn't do anything if she didn't want him to, at least. Here we have a little insight on Teddy, the pervert. He respects women. Yosuke confirms. <laughs> Where is he taking her? Is he up to something? Then it dawns on me. If that girl doesn't have a persona, how did she get in the TV world? In order to get into the TV, you either have to have the power to use personas or get someone who does it to help you into the TV. And by help, I mean that person could force you inside of a TV, too. That's actually what was happening in the series of murders last year. Horrible thoughts start to race through my mind. Is that what's going on with the president? Is he just another victim? Victim. That would that word brings to mind someone else. Saki-senpai. Oh, no. I lost someone I liked in those murders. I couldn't save her, and she died. If Miss President was also forced into this world like Saki-senpai, then... It. I'll save her. Aww. Teddy went through the emergency exit. If he went up the stairs, then the announcement room should be right there. As if my growing desperation was enough, this stupid invisible wall only makes things worse. I managed to calm my racing heart and begin running to make my way to the announcement room. Vietnam flashbacks. Oh, oh fuck. While avoiding the- oh, Jesus. Look at the paintings on the wall, or like the pictures on the wall. The next spot I managed to make it to was the music room. Damn it, I want to go up, not down. There was a familiar monitor hanging from the ceiling. So this is where the next fight's going to be, huh? Hello. Looks like you're on a roll. Teddy, what did you do with Miss President? Oh, how nice of you to worry about someone else. Let your guard down in this battle. Come on, bring out the next challenger! Oh boy. Smoke is blowing out as Teddy makes his announcement. A silhouette appears. I can tell who it is already. There's no way I can mistake that shape. Besides, by process of elimination, there's only one more person it could be. Not a go! What? <laughs> you calm down! Whoa, that's the first thing he has to say. Uh, I knew it would be you. <laughs> And sister complex kingpin, just like the others. <laughs> yep, good old you, my partner. <laughs> it is embarrassing nickname. <laughs> and again, Nanako chan always was precious to you, so. Nanako! It's true that this is a battle you have long desired. But I have something I want to say first. A battle I long desired? I thought that there would be no reason for us to fight until now. Huh? How dare you? Calling your Nanako chan in that intimate way! <laughs> yes, sir! I'm sorry, sir! Yes. 
only had a camera so I could show him this later. I not go son for the moment. It seems like there's someone here besides us. She can't use a persona, so I thought maybe she was dropped in here. Uh, you? His eyes turn dead and he raises his sword. Why would you forget Nanako? <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. I mean, come on, Nanako cha son really likes you no matter what. She's always telling me how you're such a nice big brother and how you're so cool. I just want him to calm down so we can talk. Maybe if I avoid talking about Nanako, I can steer this conversation some other Hell's direction. Yeah. Enough. Oh my you god. always talk to Nanako? Why? Where? What do you mean by always? What was the precise date and time when you spoke to her? Listen, I've got no choice. I'll get him to fight me and bring him back to his senses. It's a better use of my time than trying to talk him down anyway. Sorry, Nanako-chan. <laughs> <laughs> that Nanako-chan. What a dummy, right? Oh, no. That's it. Your life is forfeit. <laughs> All right, just as planned. I'll fix you up, partner. But damn, his eyes are scary. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. You triggered! You triggered him! You killed him! <laughs> oh no, now I'm gonna have to fight him. I do like his drawing, like his eyes. Oh jeez. Oh fuck, ow! That hurts! Ow! Okay! Okay, stop! Okay, you can stop! You, please! That was easier than Yukiko. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I keep using the same moves though, which is like annoying. <laughs> oh, wait, let me just quickly eat a little bit of my egg salad here. How? The battle is over. You look so. It's his everyday composed face. Looks like he's back to his good old self. Yosuke, are you back to your usual self? <laughs> it's my line, damn it. Oh, wait, that's right. Did I seem strange to you? You know, you can go set the same thing. Oh, wait, so did Chie. Hmm, something's not right. Carnivore Chie, Snow Black Yukiko, Sister Complex Kingpin Mew. I was wondering who'd be powerful enough to brainwash all three of them into acting all weird, but is that what's really going on? None of them remember what they said to me before our matches. Hell, they seem to think that I'm the one acting all weird. So maybe it's not the case that they're being controlled. What if I was the one being tricked here? Whoa! Then that means I'm the one who needs to wake up! I hardly start rubbing my eyes. Maybe I'm still being fooled. I know I'm acting crazy. You opened his mouth to say you something. You said that it wasn't your partner, so <gasps> that was a surprise. Oh no. I'd ever say that. Yeah. 
Oh good, he's relieved. It doesn't show on his face, but I can tell. Ah, oh, I guess we're okay now. You know Arakami, I know, is the one sitting right in front of me. That, the fact that that's the thing that hurts him, hurts me. <laughs> so I told you about what's happened so far. Most importantly, the victim. That is, the student council president that Teddy had kidnapped. Let's see. And the reason the Midnight Channel seemed so clear was because that girl was already in this world? Oh, you're right. I forgot how that worked. He's right. There are two ways that Midnight Channel appears. When the subject isn't isn't in the TV world yet, the video is all fuzzy and hard to see. But if it's clear, then that means someone's been thrown inside. Looks like our fears were real. There was a victim already. The question is, who put her in here? Well, I don't know. But whoever came up with this is trying to make us fight each other in the Grand Prix. Maybe they're hoping we'll take each other out since they'd be no match for four Persona users at once. Even as I say it, I start to really believe that it's true. Whenever I talk with you, it's like my brain just clicks right into play. Okay. No, it's not just the four of us. Kanji and Naoto are probably in this too. You saw them on the video, right? If our enemy is hosting this, they've probably been forced to participate as well. Naoto's was something with an IQ of 2,000. That sounds strong. Kanji's was... Um... Beefcake Emperor? No way! I don't want to run into him! You... Can't you go on for me? I'm begging you! You've begged me a number of times already. What? Can't only the winner move on? <laughs> Damn it, he's ecstatic. Inside his heart, he's celebrating, clenching his fists. I know it! it shouldn't be a problem if you win. <laughs> Though if you lose against the Beefcake Emperor, you might be in some trouble. Oh, no. No, I don't want to be alone with him! Oh, no. Damn it! Fine, I'll go. This must be what they mean by you have to cover your ass for the worst. That's... <sighs> That's... Don't be homophobic, Yosuke. You'll be fine. You mean me or my ass? Oh no. No, I mean about saving that girl. You can definitely do this. It's in your hands now. You. Oh. Sorry for talking about my ass so much. No. Hey, wait! <laughs> I mean, I was just a little shocked to hear that from him. Up until now, he's always been the one leading the pack, followed by me. And now he's the one telling me that he's relying on me to get things done. He's trusting me. <sighs> Sister Complex or no, he's still my friend. Just leave the rest to me, big bro. Uh, I don't think I'm comfortable having you call me that. <laughs> yeah. saying that you're my big bro, it's just... You were going on and on about Nanako-chan a moment ago, so... Oh, yeah, that wasn't you. I tried to cover my embarrassment by telling a joke, but it didn't seem to help. Uh, now I'm even more embarrassed. Leave this to me. I'll be going now. I tried to leave on a high note by acting in high spirit, so I went to you and dash out of the music room. Oh no, you This is fucking Yosuke. Oh no. Oh no, don't call him daddy! Every time I think I'm getting close to the announcement room, I hit another wall and have to take a detour. I finally make it to the third floor, though. And there's another wall, right next to the door to the classroom. More or less, an invitation to go inside, right? And to judge from my past experience, I'm in for another battle. Who's my next opponent? The Emperor? His Imperial Highness? No use dreading it. Call him daddy. Ah, Rosante, I mean, Yosuke kun. He's <laughs> president. Booyah! My ass is safe. What? I was expecting Kanji, but our student president and Teddy are waiting for me inside. It looks like I caught up with them. There's a ton of stuff that I need to get straight. I start off by throwing Teddy in a single question. S get straight? But you're not. Hey, Teddy, what do you love most? A passionate battle with one's life at risk, of course! Ah, oh, fuck. There we have it. Yep, that's not Teddy. The real one would have said all the fly honey bears or something. Alright then, let's fight. <laughs> Try not to make it hurt too much, but you gotta go down. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Looks like you're enjoying the Grand Prix, Yosuke. Just like I hoped. I held this Grand Prix just for you, after all. I'm glad you like it, Yosuke. People have been saying that from the start, and it doesn't make any sense. It's only in this world that you can be serious about anything. 
the idea excite you? Wasn't this the first thing you thought when the Midnight Channel came on? Another problem that'll help me change. That wasn't... Oh. I can't let that get to me. Teddy's being controlled. Those are the words of whoever's making us fight. But as he continues speaking, it's like he's reading my mind. There is no enemy. You know that, don't you? That case is over and done with. The days where you could be special are all gone. Oh. You lost everything, and you've gone back to your boring, mediocre self again. Mm. Since you were having a hard time accepting that, I whipped up this Grand Prix. I'm on your side, Yosuke. That's why I'm hosting this for you. There is no enemy. But what Teddy said goes along with something else. You said it. Yukiko said it. This Grand Prix was for me. Don't tell me. This whole thing is to fulfill my wishes? I mean, I know that Teddy and Reese's personas are special in that they cannot, can connect to people's minds and stuff. And Reese can do all that, a lot of stuff, up, uh, of other stuff too. Is it possible for her to make people hear things that nobody's saying when they're talking? And did she use that power to step up, set up the Grand Prix for me? Deep in my heart, did I really want this to happen? It's not true. You were so cool, Yosuke. You were stronger than Chie-chan, or Yuki-chan, or even Sensei. You're almost the champion. Oh, sorry. Don't worry. I'll let you win this one. <clears throat> You're lying. What's wrong? Both of you are acting weird. I've forgotten about her for a minute. <laughs> for a minute there. Hey, yeah, what about her? She has nothing to do with this. I've never met her until now. I prepared that girl as a heroine for you. Let's face it. There's no way you'd get fired up enough to win if there wasn't a pretty girl waiting at the end. Prepared? Yosuke-kun? What the hell does it mean, prepared? She's just a normal girl. No way. Teddy didn't push her in here, did he? He didn't get her caught up in this so that I can win the championship and save the da- the da- 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 damn- dame? Did he? It was way too much for me. I stood there with my mouth gaping wide open, unable to utter a word. No goddamn way. What the hell? I never asked for any of this. How could I want any of this to happen? That preview on the Midnight Channel was pretty good, huh? It's no surprise since you came up with it. My body suddenly froze. That's right. I felt it when I saw that ad on the TV, didn't I? That it was beginning? That something I've been waiting for, something that would change me, has come yeah. again? It's not true. I tried to clear that thought of my head by shouting, but that dis suspicion has snuck its way into my mind. I know that it's stuck for good. Do I really hate this crazy situation? Can I honestly say that I'm not enjoying it? No, that's not Stop. it. You're, you're being controlled. I'll help you come to your senses. Jesus, this is getting real. Oh boy, this is getting really real. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now I don't know what I'm in for with fucking Teddy. What a catch! Oh. So oh. Ow. Ow. Why are my buttons not working? Okay. Okay, weird. My buttons aren't working. Oh. Ow. working at the start probably because I've been like not pressing them too hard ah! yeah I think the game might be messing with me welcome to the velvet room yes thank you this place is I wish you good luck Teddy is actually one of the best characters in this game hmm. Oh, 
Finally. my combos that's the problem I wish I could I wish I could use a ps4 controller on Welcome the ps to the velvet room can I use a ps4 this controller on this console between dream and reality mind and matter now then why don't you introduce yourself I don't like this controller <laughs> no fuck damn it Wait, yeah, I can? Oh my god. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. Oh. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. One second. Can you really? One second. Uh, this is this would be amazing because I hate the PS3 controller. <coughs> One second. Fuck. I wish I could that sooner. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Yes, I'll do that in a moment. Jesus. <clears throat> Is that the controller? I think so. I'm scared of breaking the console. Does it work? Oh my god! works <laughs> Thank the fucking gods It actually works Holy shit Wrong fucking okay I'm an idiot Very well Oh my god Life hack I actually turned on my PS4 as well, like an idiot. I have seen the light. Finally! Fight! What a catch! Oh, oh fuck. Controller. It's just really bad. Yeah, I'm 
all right. But what was that all about? Aren't you two friends? I can't bear the look she's giving me. Not confused, but not judging, so I turn away. Did I really want to beat up my friends? I don't want to believe it. First, I need to ask Teddy here what his real intentions are. Whatever I may have secretly wanted, that's no reason to push an innocent girl into the TV world. Heck, did Teddy really do that? I bite my lip and wake Teddy up. Ow! That was so mean, Yosuke! Sorry, Teddy. Let's go back. This Grand Prix's over. Huh? It's over? It ended while everyone was making fun of me? Making fun of you? What? You were the host! You had on these weird clothes! That wasn't the real me! Yosuke, even you thought that was me? <laughs> we sleep in the same what? place on every night, yet you couldn't tell a beast like that apart from me! We don't sleep in the same hotel! <laughs> Wait, does that mean it's someone else doing this? I wasn't too sure of him either when I first came across him. I mean, what are the odds there'd be two with someone that crazy looking? I keep telling you, can't you tell just by looking at me? I'm much more adorable than that jerk. Check out the fur. <laughs> uh, I don't want to break it to him, but I honestly can't tell the difference. Wait, back up, huh? The teddy on the monitor is a fake? I calm Teddy down and get him to explain things to me. It seems that the general is some copy of Teddy and the TV world was like this when Teddy got here. What the hell? There's no enemy? My ass! Oh, yes there is! Anyway, the reason he's with the president isn't because he captured her, it's because she thought he was the bad guy and was chasing after him. But when she caught up with him, Teddy has begun thinking of himself as her knight in shining armor, so he's going with her to the announcement room. Way to confuse me. I'm doing my best to get myself unframed. You should have seen what a manly knight I was when I defeated Kanji along the way. So Kanji's out of the bracket? Phew. I, I mean, if you're not the host here, then who set this up for me? You're saying this Grand Prix is for you? Uh, about that. Um... I try to figure out some way to explain, but some familiar feeling like a ringing in my ears knocks the thoughts away. I mean, not in my ears, it's in my head, but it's not a sound. It's weak at first, but I know it's getting stronger. Yosuke Senpai, is Teddy with you too? Rise! Oh, I can hear Rise, but not over the school's PA system. For her to be talking directly into my head like this, she has to be using her persona. And maybe it's just me, but she sounds like she's been crying recently, or is about to start soon. I'm so glad. Ever since this weird fake Teddy kidnapped me, I've been all alone. The others are fighting each other, too. Oh, oh, I'm here, too. And so is Miss President. Miss President? Oh, you're right. I do sense one more presence there. Who are you guys talking to? Sorry, I'll explain in a sec. Hey, Risa, are you okay? The one who's been talking over the PA isn't really you, right? Of course not! I'm not that big of a ditz. Ditz? I'm in the announcement room now. General Teddy was watching me, but he left, so I'm using this chance to contact you guys. Hey, don't do anything reckless, okay? But I can't just sit here and do nothing! Not while you're all being forced to fight! She sounds all indignant now, but considering how weak she sounded at the beginning, I know she's just forcing herself to act angry. She must have been scared all by herself. Well, duh. Unlike us, she didn't know if there was ever going to be anyone else coming to help her. I awkwardly recap what I know this for her. Grand Prix might be related to me. Actually, it might all be my fault. Huh? huh? What? What? What the? Aww. I don't know really who or what that fake Teddy is. But if it's doing this for me, a lot of things start to make sense. If Teddy isn't the one managing this tournament, then it makes all the stuff he said before the fight a lie. But, lie or not, it did make sense. I mean, oh no, Yosuke, don't blame this on yourself. I mean, even if Teddy isn't the bad guy here, this Grand Prix is being held for my benefit. I mean, it's pretty much settled. <sighs> I think I have a good idea of who the poor sucker you is think now. maybe that fake Teddy didn't leave the room, but actually just disappeared? Huh? Give me a Give second, me a I'll second. search, I'll for, search him. for him. <laughs> Reese's transmission stops for a second. Reese's oh wait, oh, fuck it. if my guess is right, then there's a big chance he's already gone. Come on, let him not be there anymore. Reese came back online. Shadow! That big teddy's actually a big shadow! He hasn't disappeared? Wow, the size of this one! 
I think it might be the shadow of someone who entered the TV. But why is it mimicking Teddy? That's what I can't... Hmm? What's up? Uh, the person next to you, Senpai. Is that Miss President? Something strange about the reading I'm getting off of her. Oh, is it because she's not a Persona user? No, that's not it. I don't know how to describe it. <sighs> Sorry, something's coming. I gotta cut off this chat now. That's fine. Just don't do anything reckless. I'll try to get to the announcement room as fast as I can. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, boy. If the enemy's still around, it's not a good idea if he finds out that Risa can use a persona to contact us. And make sure Risa's actually disconnected before before I turn back to Teddy. Teddy wait here. Look after Miss President for me. Gotcha! I'm always up for spending time with a pretty girl like her. He's such a spaz. <laughs> this is not the time to be fawning over cute girls, even ones as hot as me. Yosuke, I'm starting to realize you have a very terrible taste for girls. There's a bad guy out there trying to destroy our friendships. Maybe he can be so easygoing about this because he truly believes that nothing could drive a wedge between us. But whatever. Whether that's true or not, he did take down Kanji. I can trust him to look after the president. Anyway, now that Risa check checked, there's one thing that I'm certain of. The true identity of General Teddy. I'm sure he's my he's my shadow. I mean, he's the only one who would bother setting up this grand P just for me. I don't know why he's come back, but maybe I've lost my resolve or something. I was hoping that he would just disappear once I figured out what was happening, but I guess things aren't going to be that easy. Jeez, the thought of Teddy being the culprit was pretty hard to swallow, but this is even worse. I mean, this is completely my fault. <sighs> Looks like I'm just gonna have to pay my shadow another visit. But just as I make my mind and try to leave the classroom, Miss President packs Wait, what's going Oh on? my god. I demand an explanation. There's no time for that. Sorry, but you can ask Teddy about it. I heard you say just a moment ago that this Grand Prix is for you. In which case, I gotta ask you, as student council president, if you're going to the announcement room, you gotta let me come too. You can explain things to me once we're there. You can't come with me. It's too dangerous. I'm just gonna lay it on the line for you here. That power you saw when we fought is called a persona. And this is no normal tournament. I'll be fine. I'm plenty strong, you know. That's... Yeah, Yosuke, I don't think Yosuke's thinking because he's literally using Jiraiya. But you can't use a persona. And this isn't a normal school either. Oh, can I explain this? I'm the one that said I'm going to the announcement room first. Don't be a copycat. I would be okay with her accent if this isn't fucking Japan, you know? Huh? That's not your problem, miss. I'm all... I'm all... All ready to give her a verbal smackdown, but the look on her face is so serious that I have to pause. She eventually begins to speak with embarrassment. What she said over the PA bothered me. All that about how I'd get in the way. As student council president, I gotta have a talk with her about this. Her accent is meant to be an English equivalent to her accent in Japanese? Mmm. I didn't know, but it's still kind of weird. I still, I still don't think that you should try and. Oh, what, whatever. Okay, you guys can continue yelling at me. <sighs> you aren't worth anyone's effort. You just get in the way and cause trouble for the people around don't you. Let it get to you. It was just a stunt to make the Grand Prix exciting. Wait, huh? If this Grand Prix is all for me and she just got caught up in it, what's the point of belittling her like this? Of course it bothers me. I like this school. She, she whimpers slightly. Dude, she's like a different person from the confident girl I met before. Oh, fine, I guess it can't be helped. I am to blame for all of this happening to her, but I can't just admit it like that. So I smiled jokingly and told out my head. Then going on a date with me. A romantic getaway in the announcement room. Yosuke-kun. All right. You're on. Okay. What? Even if she's only going along with the joke, I asked her and she said yes. Awesome. Wait! What about me? I want to go on a date too. You can't leave me out. Oh, sorry. You lost, so you can't leave. Don't worry, though. We'll be back soon. No! The date slipped through my claws. Yosuke, you like dick. Shut up. <laughs> Miss President, Yosuke is a nice, dependable guy. <laughs> Aw, thanks, 
Thanks for looking after me this far. I'm glad to find out you're not the culprit. See ya. Be a good bear, okay? <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm joking. Miss President and I had to leave the classroom together. Teddy desperately tries to follow, but the invisible wall stops him cold. He keeps charging at the wall, but every time he does, he just bounces off like a tennis ball being tossed against the glass window. When he finally gives up, he waves his stubby little arms in despair. Miss Kate, you better not lose. You gotta protect Miss President. And don't try anything funny with her. Shut up, I'm not you. That Teddy, well, that's just how he is. Man, I kind of want to smack him, but I'm smiling all the same. I don't know, I feel like he could... The, the thing is, I don't think Yosuke is gay, but he only has an attraction towards the MC. I can't see him, like, you know, liking any other dudes. There's, there's, a, there's a word for that. There, there is a word for that. Also, this fucking walking noise. The invisible walls block the way as usual. I'm starting to feel really anxious, but I can't let it show. I know that it would make Miss President here worry. Demisexual! There it is! Yeah. We're making progress, slowly but surely. I have to keep really trusting like Oh, right. You sexual. There it is. That was unexpected. Well, I'm not surprised, since you ran for student council president. Good job winning that, by the way. Oh yeah, what's your name? My name? I mean, I can't call you Miss President forever, right? I guess your name was on the posters around school during elections, but I tend to ignore those. No offense. She clams up, so I try not to get her to open up. Uh, so I try to get her to open up a little more. But what she says next takes you by My surprise. My name? I, I don't know. Huh? Oh. I can't remember it at all. I've been trying all this time, but. I can't even remember what I was doing before now. Same goes for my name. I completely forgot that I must have a real name too. Until you asked me about it. That ain't normal, is it? I wonder why that's happening to me. Uh, it's probably because you've been in here for a long time. You've seen a bunch of other weird things in here, right? Well, now that I think about it, the victim who were dropped in this world have scrambled memories with bits and chunks missing. So it's definitely possible that she can't remember her name. Oh. You mean like those persona and shadow things? What are those? What are those? <laughs> she seems really upset about this. I bet that's only putting more pressure on her. She's seen a lot. Maybe an explanation would help her calm down a little. I decide to answer every question she has, one at a time. Well, a shadow is another side of you. It's what you're not conscious of, or more like the feelings you didn't want to admit you had. Everyone has a side like that, <laughs> an ugly part of themselves, and most people hate to admit it exists. <laughs> Fucking you, thanks, but guys. But accept it, it becomes a persona, a power that can protect you. So you have to accept yourself. I went through that once, but it seems like my shadow's back. Well, I'll just have to accept it again. I sure hope that's all I have to do. Of course, I can't say that part out loud. I talk like I was confident, but in reality, I'm really nervous. How can I be smiling when I'm so worried? It's crazy, right? I look at her to try and gauge how she's it feeling. sounds rough. Yeah. You think since I can't remember anything, the same's happening to me? Don't worry. I'm sure you're just in a little bit of shock right now. <laughs> oh, great. Now I've got her all nervous, too. Trying to cheer her up, I try to play up the good you parts. You remember that you're the student council president, right? I'm sure you just need a little help to remember everything else. You think so? <laughs> You've been a real big help, Yosuke-kun. Huh? Me? Did I do something? Mm-hmm. You sure have. She finally smiles. It's only a little one, but it's there. <gasps> is this really the first time I've seen her smile? Ah, oh, damn, she really is cute! She is really cute! I start to get embarrassed about having fa faked ask her out on a date and my feet speed up. Crap, I'm literally running away from her. Talk about chicken hearted. Great. Sure, why the fuck not? Sweet.
Finally, and I do mean finally, we stand in front of the announcement room. Miss President and I exchange a glance. Then I summon all my courage and throw the door open. Oh shit. I'm expecting to see the fake teddy, or should I say my shadow in the room? Wow. <sighs> Reese is the only one in here. Yosuke Senpai! Are you alright? Where's the shadow? You mean the fake teddy? He hasn't come back at all. I sense this weird presence, but I don't know what it is. <sighs> hey! <sighs> Place shark cat, thank you for 100 bitties. Risa looks around nervously. I look around too. I haven't been in the announcement room that often, but I can tell that this isn't anything like the real one. The room is huge with monitors everywhere. Not to mention the giant window taking up an entire wall with a crazy view outside. Yeah, this is crazy town, all right. But what's this weird presence that Risa is talking about? <laughs> what are you freaking out about? This is your chance to save a pretty girl and become a hero, right, Yosuke? There it is. Huh? That's. Yosuke kun's voice. I slowly turn in the voice direction. There was no one there a second ago, but now suddenly there is, and he has my face. His inhuman golden eyes narrow in a taunting way. <sighs> Looks like I was right. Hey there, Yosuke. Yosuke Senpai's shadow? Man, this isn't getting any easier. But at least I can confront him without freaking out like I did last year. I thought you merged back with me. I'll come, come out anytime, anytime you start ignoring me. me. I'm always watching you. I am you, after all. This is a shadow? Yeah, that's right. You're me. You're the weakness in my heart. I admit it. Now get back here. I blurt it out before I have time to get second thoughts. This shouldn't... This should do it. Then the shadow starts laughing instead. <laughs> Not bad, but that's exactly what I mean by ignoring me. You haven't changed at all since then. You just cover up whatever you don't want to see and paper over it. That's why I've returned. I'm not your persona anymore. Don't tell me! Hold on a sec. Does that mean... Forget logic. It's faster just to try it. My nervous voice fills the announcement room, and that's it. My persona, Jiraiya, doesn't appear. Oh, Instead, Shadow begins laughing even harder. No way! Oh no. So you really are? To be honest, I was still doubtful. I had hoped that he wasn't my shadow. I mean, of course I didn't want to believe this Grand Prix is for me and that I wasn't having fun. My shadow's right. All I was doing was ignoring the problem. My fists clenched, my knees locked, my entire body shakes. Is because I was weak? Is that why everyone got dragged into it? Yep. Oh. I wanted a crisis to solve again. Because the case ended and I was bored? You got it. I'm sure you understand without me having to tell you. Couldn't save Saki Senpai. I didn't want to ever lose someone again, but I still wished for this. I was proud that Inoue was peaceful, and I thought that I could finally be proud of putting Saki Senpai's death behind me. And yet, was I really freaking, uh, really faking all of that? In the end, am I just a loser who puts his own boredom over the death of a loved one? Senpai. I could hear the quivering in Reese's voice. No, this isn't true. Don't look at me. This, this isn't me! It's all your desire. Trust me, I know. I am you, after all. I could feel myself ready to fall to my knees. I can't use my persona anymore. I thought I had a, I had changed, but now I've literally lost everything. I have to accept that my mind knew what to do, but my heart still raged against it. Even before I knew what I was saying, the words were flying from my mouth. Not. No! Senpai, look at me! I lift my eyes to look at Rise. There she was, with Miss President standing next to her. It was tough seeing the look the looks on their faces. I look away quickly, but Rise no still. No matter what me. weaknesses you might have, we'll never stop liking you. So please, don't deny who you are. <sighs> Why'd you have to get in the way? Here, I finally got in touch with the others. Listen to them. Risa closes her eyes and folds her hands as if in prayer. I see the elegant shape of her persona appear behind her. At that instant, voices pour into my head. You moron! What are you saying? Who do you think we are? Yosuke-kun, we heard everything. But there's nothing for you to be afraid of. I don't really get what's going on, but if it's gonna keep showing up, you just gotta beat the crap out of it every time. We're all with you, Yosuke! You can rely on me too, you know. 
Anyone can fall prey to this. Oh, now it's insecurities. Spook it's me. Not just you, senpai. It's true for all of us. Everyone, my vision suddenly clears. I hadn't even realized that I was squeezing my eyes shut. Naoto? How come you're here? That's, that's, well... Who cares why? There's more important stuff at stake here! And after she had the clearest voice of all. The clearest voice of all! You won the battle against yourself back then, but you can't do it this time? Mosuke, believe in us. When I hear my partner's voice, I draw a ragged breath. I take deep breaths, not noticing until now just how much I had tensed up in the last few moments. Risa, the bringer of these voices, turns to me. From the smile on her face, I know that she expects me to feel better now. And even though she has to be scared right now, she cares enough to smile for me when I'm feeling I... down. That's right. I finally realize the simplest truth. The biggest difference between the person I was last year and the person I am now? Now I have friends that accept me even when I doubt myself. I... How could I not believe in myself? How could I be too weak to stand up? You're all believing in me. I'm not alone. Not anymore. I'm such an idiot, aren't I? A grade A moron. I raise my head and look straight at my shadow. Any trace of the fear I had is completely I gone. I overcame my weakness and I was done with it for good. Dude, how naive was that, right? What? what? I'm weak. I'll probably always be weak. Aww. But that doesn't mean I need to run away fighting my weakness and I'll do it as many times as it takes even if that never stops <clears throat> my heart was calm I was conflict con yeah I was conflicted just a moment ago but now everything has been has been made clear they believe in me and knowing that I feel their faith in me pushing me forward I could feel the power surging in me <gasps> the force filling my spirit causes me to shout Come out persona Oh, hello, PowerPoint. Cool, I guess I'm fighting myself now? Sweet. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Me versus myself. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Here I come. Here I come. Just get snuffed. Here I come. Just get snuffed. What? Here I persona. Oh my god, I can't even tell who I am anymore. Wash over me, but there's something bugging me, something that could be really bad for me. Not my conversation with my shadow. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I hijacked the school PA system. I knew it. Everyone had been backing me up because they'd been hearing everything I'd said leading up to it. You saw my shadow last time, but now everyone got to listen in. Ah, oh, so lame. That's not true. You were really cool, senpai. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Miss President looks like she's having trouble finding words for this. Damn, she's horrified by me. I can't blame her. She was left out of the picture. But well, my explaining to her can wait. I need to do something about my shadow. But when I turn around, my shadow isn't there. Where did he go? If he disappears, won't my persona... Wait. Something's not right. I used my persona during that fight. But my persona's my shadow, so if my shadow left me, how could I have used my persona? As I'm struggling with that, Risa speaks Something's up. Something's not right. Her voice is firm. Did you just think of the same conundrum that I did? No, that's not a, that's not all. There's an eerie presence all around. Even I can feel it. It must be hitting Risa like a jolt of electricity. I can't let my guard yeah. down yet. Risa, Miss President, stay close to... Right at that moment, the light's gone and darkness covers the room. <gasps> what the hell? Uh-oh. 
I can't believe you've made it this far. They repeatedly suffered the pain of fighting their friends, but they still didn't lose heart. The oh, hello. When they do the fake Teddy is standing there. Why is it looking like that now? Wait, was it the one talking in that weird voice? Pig Teddy ignores me and looks at Miss Present. I can't believe Teddy's a girl. No one can understand you after all. What a shame. <laughs> who, who are you? And you weren't my shadow? I want to make people fight. I especially want friends to fight against each other. Then maybe they'll understand how I feel. That was your wish, wasn't it? What are you saying? What does it mean? This was my wish. And what's with that voice? Wait a minute. It's not talking to me. Then you mean... Senpai, get back! This shadow's reacting to Miss President! It was really her shadow! What? Ah, see? Making everyone in the team doubt themselves when it wasn't even Yosuke's fault! I could feel my brain cracking open like a dropped watermelon. That's Miss President's shadow? But it just said it was my shadow. But... Now that I think about it, this General Teddy has always been hostile to her ever since we met outside the school. That would explain Reese's voice on the PA system, too. Well, duh. If a normal person's in here long enough, of course her shadow's gonna split away from her. I should have known that, after all. That's exactly what kept happening last year. Miss Present just looked so healthy that it never occurred to me. This is just... As if to mock my astonishment, the shadow Reese, keeps talking in General Teddy's shape. Well. Hey, Labrosa, thanks for the three months! Oh, wait, whoops. Three months, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy! <laughs> I did exactly what you wished. So, how did that work out for you? I... They still couldn't understand you. No one can really understand how we feel, can they? Great. I love that in every heckin' spinoff, it's about some girl. Yes. I... Come on. How much longer are you gonna keep deceiving yourself? Didn't you hear them say you shouldn't ignore who you are? Here, I'll show you your reality. With that sound, the enemy finally shows its real form. Is there a shadow form? Oh, yep. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. Hmm. Oh shit. She a fucking robot. I knew it. Ah, oh, oh, oh. She's also a toaster. I am a shadow. The true self. That's... That's my face. But that's all that's the same. Even though her shadow has the same face, her body is wrapped in metal. Miss Present screams at what appears to be something from a sci-fi well, flick. You must remember now. No. I'm not like that. No, Miss President, calm down. A shadow doesn't just take on your appearance. They look like a twisted version of you to agitate you even more. No, no! No, oh, great. I try calming it down, but my words aren't reaching her. She just keeps shaking her head in denial. What's going on here? Shadows are things that exem exemplify what their originals want to be. I've never heard of them transforming into other people. The shadow sees my confusion and smiles. It's an illusion. Huh? It's an illusion? Isn't, Isn't that, that what you thought, thought when you fought your friends? friends? Your senses were being deceived. Warping what you saw. Twisting what you heard. That's how you made my senpai fight each other. Is that your power? Not just mine. It's actually our power. Isn't that so? Me. Our? What is she saying? No, I'm not like you. I'm human. 
Mr. President encourages Stella and says the words that are always Looking bad. Cool, Joker. Oh no. Never trust a robot with a big fuck off axe. You can <gasps> trust an egghead girl though. Thank you, Lavros, for the two euros. With that, the shadow smile grows even more menacing and it snaps its fingers again. At that moment, something like TV static flashes across my eyes. I rub my eyes. The static doesn't cover my entire field of view, but slowly begins to focus around the president. But it clears Miss president has changed. Metallic limbs stretch from her uniform. Something metallic, like wings, un unfurl from her back. There's no doubt. She's the same as the shadow standing in front of us. Cool. She cries out and tries to cover her ears. But when she does, the sound of metal grinding against metal accompanies her movements. I see myself reflected in the shiny metal of her fingers. Robot. Yep. So that means... The shadow isn't from some fancy fantasy version that's her true self? So Miss President was the one trying to look like a human? No! Whoa! I'm... I'm human! <laughs> you still, still believe, believe that, that about, about yourself? yourself? No, no human, human can, can do, do that. that. And, and you, you know, know it. it. The shadow points at me and I'm at loss for words. I look around, but in the end, my eyes meet hers. We both fall silent. In those few seconds, I can feel a deep rift growing between us. Okay. No, don't get me wrong. I was just a little surprised. I'm human. Wait, I'm sorry. I. Well. Suddenly, there's an explosion so loud I think my eardrums are blown out. The smoke makes me cough and my eyes tear up. I manage to focus and see a hole in the wall. I can barely see through the smoke, but I can see the hallway on the other side. Eventually, the smoke clears and a shape steps through what the hole. The? I didn't sense anything until now. with a mechanically me mechanical body just like the shadow on Miss President. She looks at the trembling president and calls out. You must out. remember, that is the only way the future will open up to you. You must accept it, no matter how painful it may be. Your Toaster! Toaster! Fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon. Labrys. Labrys? Weapon? What? What is going on here? To be continued in Ultimax, I think? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Wait. This place exists between dream and reality. Alright, so I finished Yosuke. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? No? It's in the other story? Fuck. Oh no. Which one should I play then? Oh no! Okay, you guys decide, whatever. You have to play you to get the full story? The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. Here goes. Well. Okay, I guess we're playing you then. Hell yeah, boy. You Narukami! Blue. The floor, the ceiling, the furnishings. Everything is blue. It's quite unlike what I normally see throughout my day. And yet, my heart is mysteriously calm. I recognize the slight rumble as an engine and realize that I'm in a car. Or rather, someplace else I recognize. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Hello. The old man with the bizarre face sitting before me makes an expression that appears to be a smile. Sitting quietly next to the old man is a woman as beautiful and delicate as an ice sculpture. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> my name is Igor. <gasps> I am delighted to make your acquaintance. But I know who you are, Igor. The Velvet Room. Igor. Even though I'm barely conscious, I remember that this is not the first time I've heard those names. I see. This is a dream. This happened in the past. I've been in this room before. If my memory is correct, what he says next this is- This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. <laughs> yeah! We've met! It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Ah, oh, thank you. The words I expect to hear fall from the old man's mouth. I am surprised that I still remember them. Another me, the one not in the dream, can't help but smile at that. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? 
I remember this too. When I sent my name here, it forged a contract with them. It forged it, and so I answer. You know who call me. Yep, 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 mm-hmm, yep. When I open my eyes, the light is so blinding that I have to squint. For a moment, I can't figure out where I am, and I look around. Right. I was on my way back. I love his voice so much. I mutter to myself and look out the window. The sky is somewhat cloudy, unfortunately, but the scenery is, a pe is as peaceful as always. It seems that I fell asleep on a train headed to the countryside where I spent the last year in Inaba. If I recall correctly, when I first came to that town, it was an afternoon just like this. I dozed stop the same way back then and was summoned to the velvet room. That was when Igor said that misfortunes would befall me, and just as he foretold, I was dragged into an outrageous murder mystery. That was no ordinary case. The midnight channel shadows of personas, the power of the heart. I saw a thing as I could scarce, sca scarcely be believed. But I made memories there that could never be replaced as well. We gained the powers of the personas, and we suffered together. I stood with my friends on the investigation team against these misfortunes and fought alongside them. There's no way I could have overcome such ordeals without their help. What everyone's been up to. After solving the mystery, it was decided that I would leave Inaba around the same time my parents would be returning from overseas. It's been about two months since I last saw them all, as they were saying goodbye to me at the train station. I had decided to stay at the Dojima residence during Golden Week so that I could spend the holidays with my friends. Of course, my uncle was happy to hear this, and his only daughter, Nanako, should be glad to see oh, me too. Damn it! I still haven't picked up Yosuke's gift. Oh no. It was supposed to be something special after all. Actually, I received a call from Teddy, one of my investigation team friends, this morning. The details of the conversations are a bit confusing. <laughs> Hello! Is this Sensei? Yeah, what's yeah. up? What's up? I'm really sorry to bring this up, but I forgot to tell you something very important. I have a special request for the souvenirs I'm sure you'll be bringing your best friend. Teddy, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to tell people what you want them to bring you as a souvenir. I already have souvenirs for everyone, but oh well. Sure enough, Teddy was only asking for some snacks that aren't sold at Inaba, so it wasn't much trouble. Uh, but there was one problem. Oh, and one more thing. Can I ask you to pick up something for Yosuke too? I was planning on bringing something for everyone anyway, but go ahead. Cool! Well, Yosuke's been down in the dumps after his mommy burned his favorite nurse. <laughs> what is that? What? Oh, Teddy! She was what I called scorching hot! <laughs> uh, just kidding. A, a nurse? Aw, oh, come on, Sensei. You know what I'm talking about. His nurse magazine with the chest examinations and the bear behind. Oh my god! I see. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> and you expect me to buy him a replacement? Of course, silly. People coming to visit are supposed to bring presents. Mm hmm. Alright. Uh, I was planning to head back tomorrow, but since we're meeting up early, I decided to go back today. Can you pass that on to everyone? Aha! Then the sexy nurses will be arriving even sooner! Oh no! It'll be like, like, Sensei, we have an emergency patient. Yusuke will be so happy! Oh no! Favorite nurse. Your pardon, Miss Bag Teddy. <laughs> Thank you, Flash Cat Three Heroes. I'm a little worried now. I hope he isn't telling everybody something that would give them the wrong idea. Well, I should just call again once I get there. But I'll ignore that Nurses, for now. Huh? Oh, you. Oh no. In the end, I wasn't able to pick one up for him. How can I put it? I'd feel, I'd feel bad for Yosuke if I gave him that magazine and every time he opened it, his friend's face kept popping up and- SHUT UP! YOU! SHUT THE FUCK UP! THAT'S EXACTLY WHAT YOU WANT! 
And I have this, I have to think, Yosuke has his pride too. He doesn't need me buying him this stuff. And again, this is Yosuke we're talking about. I'm sure he'll understand if I explain my reasoning. Probably. <laughs> now pulling into Yaso Inaba. This will be the last stop. Yaso Inaba. Oh. End of the line already. It looks like I've been asleep for a lot longer than I thought. Just as that thought came to me, a certain word crossed my mind. If I had a dream of the Velvet Room, did that mean I was going to be dragged into another adventure? No, I shouldn't think such things. I'm overthinking it. I Igor had said, I am delighted to make your acquaintance after all, so it's nothing but a dream. It's quite misleading, since I've had dreams of being summoned into the room ever since. The train begins to slow, and I take that as my cue to gather my belongings from the luggage rack above me. When the train comes to a complete stop and the doors open, even the smell of the wind evokes a sense of nostalgia. <laughs> I think I'm getting a little too sentimental. I step out to the platform with a wry smile. Oof. Oh. Yeah. Sweet. Oh my god. Amazing. I'm standing in front of the train station, but this town is as quiet as it's always been. I realized that the sun had started to set, and the orange sky envelopes the world. Now, what it shall I do? Today is May 2nd. According to the calendar, the latter half of the holidays will begin tomorrow. I told Dojima-san that I was going to arrive today, but it seems he's been too busy to work to come and get me. Ryotaro Dojima. He's my uncle. I stayed with him last year. He's a detective with the Inaba police, and he's raising his elementary school-aged daughter Nanako by himself. It seems that he was suddenly contract contacted by a detective from the Metropol Eng English po Police Department regarding last year's case and will have to work late. What happened last year was very serious, cool. so that may be why this has Looking come up. Cool, Joker. Wowie Toaster Waifu is here too. This game is becoming very interesting to see you play. Try your best on the flights. Thanks, Kawaii. I think the 303 for yours at seven cents. I'm I'm honestly so you know how a lot of people are like the the uh, spin-off games ruin persona for them? And I'm just I'm just sitting here like just holding out my arms like I embrace it. I love it. It's so good. <laughs> he should have <laughs> He, should, he shouldn't have worried about it. I recall how apologetic he sounded over the phone and can't, and can't help from smiling. I told him that I knew the way over from the station, but a bag packed with necessities and souvenirs forever and turns out to be quite a load. Monaco must be waiting for me alone at the house, so I want to get there as soon as possible, too. To be honest, I don't know what the bus, when, when the bus will come. Maybe I should just call for a taxi? Just as I'm thinking this... Nanako? <laughs> Big bro! Hello, sweet child. Is it? It is Nanako. There's no way I'd mistake her. You came to meet me all on your own? Why did she come to the station all by herself? True, the Dojima residence is within walking distance, but it couldn't have been easy for her. And even though it's still light out right now, it will get dark soon, and the country roads are barely lit. What would she have done if I hadn't been here? I'm about to voice my concerns, but Nanako sounds slightly proud when she Don't says... Don't worry. Dad knows about it. He gave me money for the bus. He said he couldn't make it, so I came instead. Welcome back! Big bro, I wanted to see you so much. <laughs> Thanks. I'm happy to see you again, too. I see. She must have wanted to show me the hook that she's grown up, too. She's around that age, after all. For a moment, I'm surprised that Dojima-san let her do this. But I can kind of Ooh, imagine what kind of conversation cool, took place. Joker. Is Nanako the new ten years ago me? <laughs> no. I guess that's three years. No. Not a good, always been a capable girl, but over the past year, her housekeeping skills have improved greatly, and she's proven herself to be very reliable. She takes the lead in many things within the house, and have, t and even Dojima-san can't compete with her sometimes. I can easily imagine that scene in my mind. And it's true that I'm glad someone came to welcome me. I take Nanako's hand, and we begin walking side well, by well, side. Since standing around here, what's in the fridge at home? <laughs> you! Step down! <laughs> <laughs> Lots! Dad and I bought a ton of stuff since you were coming to visit. If Nanako says so, then he really must have bought a lot. Dojima-san did say he picked up dinner for us, but if that's the case, maybe I should put together something to go with it. I ask Nanako what she wants to eat, and she looks back with a twinkle in her eyes. Are you gonna cook dinner? 
Ooh, I want to help. <laughs> Nada can I make a small talk while we walk together to walk through Inaba for the first time in a little while. Being here like this makes me feel as if I've gone back in time to a, in time to a year ago. Ah. After we get back to the Jima home, I hurry up and unpack my belongings before heading to the kitchen. Nanako helps me out as I diligently, as dil at Nanako helps me out as diligently as she had claimed earlier. The way she makes the eggs seems more skillful than before. You're such a good girl, Nanako. Good evening. This is the evening journal with news for May second. Our top story is on the domestic airline that was hijacked yesterday. The TV in the living room echoes through the house. The TV was on quite often in this house. Oh. When I first came to Inaba, Nanako was practically being raised by the television. There had been this odd sense of distance between us around that time. She hadn't started calling me Big Bro, and we didn't cook together like we are now. It's the little things that bring back memories. Right when we were about to <laughs> done making dinner, Sojima's son arrived with some deluxe sushi. Nanako quickly gets up and rushes to the door. She seems so happy when Dojima's son comes home. Ah, ah. Aww. Don't you must apologize about the sudden increase in his workload. And then we all sit at the table and begin eating. Being here like this makes me feel like the two months I was gone never happened at all. <sighs> There's this warm atmosphere as if I've always been a part of this family and I've lived here with them for my t entire life. I thank both of them from deep in my heart. And after I give them the souvenirs I brought for them, we enjoy chatting with each other as a family. I love them. Ah. Another fam another familiar room. This is the room that was prepared for me on the second floor of the Jima residence. Nanako fell asleep from all the excitement. After carrying her to her room, I tell my uncle that I'd be going to bed early as well, since I have plans. There's a Catherine! There's a Catherine calendar! That's a Catherine calendar! Ah! <laughs> I didn't realize that. That's cool. This room is no different than it had been when I was living here. It's exactly the same as it was when I left Inaba. I close the door with a feeling of wistfulness. As I sit down on my sofa, thinking about my uncle's thoughtfulness, I sigh from the exhaustion of the long journey. I'll be able to see my friends tomorrow. Considering that there are still several days left in this holiday, it may be nice to leave early tomorrow and go visit the shopping district. It's raining. The time just before the mid it's the time is just before midnight. In mere moments it will be a new day. Whenever it rains at night, I keep checking the time. While spending the last year in Inaba, I was always checking for the Midnight Channel, which was a popular urban legend here in Inaba. It's a bad habit of mine, even when I'm not here. If you look at the turned off TV at midnight on a rainy night, you will see your soulmate. Discovering that this rumor was actually true was the first reason why I became involved in a murder investigation last year. <sighs> but the person who actually appears on the Midnight Channel isn't your soulmate. It's the next victim. After discovering this, we all nervously sat before our TVs on rainy nights in order to solve the <laughs> case. That brings back some memories. Nothing will show anymore, though. Greetings. You have done well. Hey, Pinky Flynn, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the dojo. Will nothing really appear, though? I suddenly have doubts. Why would I think that? After we solved the case, we all confirmed that the Midnight Channel wasn't appearing anymore. The empty screen stays silent. So why? Just in case. Oh, it's not going to turn on. There's no way. The more I think about it, the more I feel my resolve fading. I peer into the TV screen as if something is drawing me into it. The only thing I see is my reflection in the dark glass of the CRT television. Or so I thought. And then we have the intro again. Do you guys want to watch it again, or do you want me to skip Rivals. it? Rivals. They are friends, yet powerful foes. The desperate fighting program amongst high school students. A oh, new okay, there we go. What? Okay. Oh, well, now, now it's too late. N now it's too late. Sister Complex Kingpin of Steel? <laughs> Was that me? Sister Complex Kingpin of Steel? I'm impressed. There's so much wrong with that phrase, I don't know where to begin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I shouldn't be thinking about that. <laughs> Those rinse aren't the problem here. <laughs> I heard to make sure that the TV isn't plugged in. That was the Midnight Channel. What it was actually showing was rather ridiculous, but thinking back, everything the Midnight Channel showed last year didn't make much sense either. I'm suddenly gripped by tension. If the Midnight Channel is appearing again, I have to find out why. I pull out my cell phone and search for Yosuke's numbers. H. Hanamura Yosuke. I quickly hit the call button. Does everyone know about this? Is everyone aware that the Midnight Channel is still <laughs> being broadcasted? Did it know that it's showing us? And that we've been giving taglines that can only be described as uncharitable? Uh, hello, this is Yosuke. Yosuke? <laughs> it's nothing. I just freaked out when you called all of a sudden. Yeah, that's it. What's up? Hey, when do you want to meet? I can tell what's going on just by the sound of his voice. <laughs> Yosuke knows about what happened on the Midnight Channel just now. He's trying to hide that from me. Considering that, I've been out of Inaba for a while. I bet he's trying to keep me from worrying about it. There's no need for him to be concerned about that. Then again, I can think of under I can I kind of understand how he feels. I am his friend after That's all. That's not why I was calling. I saw the Midnight Channel. You saw it too, right? Uh huh? I can easily hear Yosuke panicking on the other side of the phone. He's probably surprised that I saw the Midnight Channel when I shouldn't even be in Inaba right now. He must be thinking that the Midnight Channel is now appearing on a national TV. Wow! <laughs> You can read Yosuke's mind instantly. <sighs> Looks like Teddy didn't tell him after all. Did Teddy all. not tell you? Since we're meeting up early tomorrow, I decided to come today. I figured you wouldn't think I could have seen it, so I gave you a call. Uh, well, I assumed you weren't here yet, so I didn't want to rely on you. <laughs> you haven't changed. So how about it? You're not gonna leave this be, are you, Captain Rosantama? How does he say Rosantama? Why'd you zero in on that part? Did you see how they called you a sister complex kingpin? <laughs> Mine's not that bad. You think? Oh, I ought to tell you, that program's not the only strange thing lately. Teddy, Rise, and Kanji aren't here either. They disappeared. For a moment, I'm at loss for words. Not only has the Midnight Channel come back on, we've lost contact with three of our friends. I have a bad feeling about this. I can't believe that those two things are un unrelated. All right, we should get together tomorrow like we planned. Yeah, at the Junis food court. Welcome back, partner. I'm suddenly right that I haven't even greeted Yosuke yet. I finally feel a sense of worry fade a little, and I answer with a smile. It's good to be here. No matter what has happened, our friends may be in danger. If that's so, then there's only one thing to do. Hmm? Speaking of things I have oh, to do. Oh, right. Sorry to say, I forgot to oh, this again. souvenir. A souvenir? Don't even worry about it, man. You sure? I thought you were really looking forward to it. Those nurses. N nurses? <laughs> I had a feeling he wouldn't get it if I didn't <laughs> tell him flat out. This is rather hard to bring up. Oh, well. Yeah, Teddy asked me to get it for you. He said you were crushed that they got burned. Oh, wait, this is all... I didn't know you were into nurses. <laughs> Shut up! That's enough! Damn it, you're trying to wind me up, aren't you? Stay home, you jerk! <laughs> but I'm already here. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Alas, it seems like he <laughs> understands about a souvenir. In any case, the preparations have been made. Tomorrow, I'll meet with everyone to search for whatever information we have on the situation. If we have to, we'll go back into that world. It'd be best if this was all just our imagination. But unfortunately, we know that the Midnight Channel wouldn't have appeared without a reason. I should make sure I'm ready for tomorrow and get some rest. <sighs> no, I'm gonna let it play out. Screw you. This place is lively as always. I look across the food court and in this roof for the first time in a while. I might skip this though. Even though there are many people in Inuma, this place is exceptionally crowded. Plus, because it's Golden Week, as well, I feel like it's busier than usual. I have to run into Yosuke at the elevators. We briefly greet each other. Guys are weird like that. <laughs> Guys are weird like that. The closer we are, the more simple our interactions when we meet each other face to face. <laughs> the two of us step out of the poor car we really value Kyonji and they wave back at us from the bench they're sitting on. Good to see you guys again. Oh, oh my god. Huh? He's actually okay. one of them. Oh, uh, we chat some more while we all sit down. Then Yosuke stands up and clears his throat loudly. He's probably been waiting for the right moment to say something. 
He hasn't mentioned anything to me, but I can easily guess what he's about to say. Nah. We all look towards Yosuke. Well, it's a nah, nah, nah. Uh, 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 why not? It's been two months since we last saw each other, after all. She and Yukiko start chuckling when I shrug, and though Yosuke seems saddened at that, he still ends up laughing along as well. It's a relief to see that they're the same as always, but because of that, it makes me even more worried about the friends that aren't here right now. Uh, we can't st start slacking off. We begin to sort through the information that we know about a, a, a red daddy. Let's get cracking. No one's hurt. Yeah. Okay. She told me she she seemed pretty. Ah. If she has a reason for not being here, and we can still and we can still contact her, then Naruto should be fine. That leaves Teddy, Risei, and Kanji. Not hearing back from them after an entire day has passed isn't normal at all. The relationship between their sudden disappearances and the appearance of the Midnight Channel last night disturbs me. What? Yeah. Hey. Ah, that, 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 that. She is, she is pretty angry about it. Many of the locals know about the rumor of the Midnight Channel. In other words, this troubling broadcast has already been seen by who knows how many people. From what I've been told, the moment she had tried to ask another student about the Midnight Channel, the other girl ran away with a look of fear on her face. It's no surprise that she would be angry. Still. What bothers me most is Teddy. Yeah. Na, 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 oh, wait, there's a quick skip. Shit, I didn't realize. That's right, go inside the TV. Out of everything that was the element that shook our common sense the most out of everything we experienced last year. Actually, the murders in last year's event happened in another world inside the television. This world is filled with monsters called shadows that are born from people's hearts. Because my friend and I gained personas, the power to defeat these shadows, we were able to enter TV screens and fight Wouldn't them. we be stuck in there without Teddy to give us an that, exit? It doesn't work. It... The quick skip doesn't work. Hello? Okay, that's the bag log. The quick... The quick skip doesn't work! But even we Persona users would find it extremely difficult to, to leave that world on our own. In order to come back, we need to exit TV that our friend Teddy was capable of creating. Uh -huh, not look at you and think about it. Look like anyone would be. Anyway, it. Oh no! To be honest, I almost fell into it the first time it appeared in my room. After all, ah, uh, uh, we're all uh, good uh, to go. We all share a look to confirm our intentions. All of them nod back. I can see the seriousness in their eyes. Even though there was a two-month gap since I last saw them, they still continue to put their trust in me. I feel a slight sense of pride as I stand up from the bench. The large screen TV in the electronics department is directly below the food court. That was the entrance we always used last year. It's because... Ah, you haven't seen this as you? Okay. Okay. This reads like a fan fiction? Yeah, it does. I hear a voice. It's a woman's voice. Sounds familiar to me. This voice is Margaret. Margaret. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Hello, Margaret. I don't sense that distinctive floating feeling that I usually have when I enter the TV world. When I concentrate, I realize that I must be sitting in a, in a chair. The moment I open my eyes, I see a vibrant blue. The Velvet Room. I visited this place an untold, an untold number of times last year, and once more in my dreams yesterday. I never thought I would return to this uh, place. It's not a dream this time? What's going on? Didn't my contract end already? Igor, who usually sits in front of the center, is nowhere to be seen. The one to greet me is a woman with silver hair, Margaret. Could this be a personal summoning then? That happened a few times last year, too. Margaret smiles as if she senses my suspicions. This room is tied to your fate. Nothing that occurs here is meaningless. Though you reached an end to one journey, you now find yourself here again. This shows that you will once again be faced with a question. Igor's not here because he's preparing for Persona 5. A question? And something really is going on? Another mystery has appeared, and we are about to be dragged into it again. Could that be what you mean? From here on, what befalls you will upset your status quo. Yeah. It is true that you've opened the door once already, but all things change. Nothing ever remains the same. What you gained before will change over time as well. You will have to face them once again. Face them? Again? The first thing that Margaret's words stir up in my mind is the sight of my friend's smiling faces. Is that going to change? No, that can't be true. 
and face them again? It's impossible! Once I wake up and leave this room, I should still be with my friends. There's no need to jump to conclusions, but Margaret appears to have anticipated my thoughts and smiles while narrowing her eyes. Show me how you will proceed down the path that awaits beyond the door you've opened. Okay, goodbye, Margaret. My vision wavers and the blue light before me vanishes quickly. Wait, I still need to know what you mean by those words. Um, and I just fucking hit the ground. Goodbye. I guess I'm dead. Sweet. Cool. Oh, shit. Where am I? Where did I get thrown to when I left that blue room? The scenery is so unexpected that I'm at loss. This is a school. It's the music room of Yasugami High. I attended the school with my friends until I recently... There's no mistaking it. We entered the TV together, so why am I here? No, that's not right. This is... No, wait. This has to be the TV world. The graffiti on the ground. Sh shoes placed like they're for some kind of ritual. The eerily shining eyes of the portraits on the wall. The more carefully I look, the more I realize that this place is not the real Yasugami High. Most of all, I sense no warmth from this place, like I always did from the students who would come and go from here. This is a fake. It's definitely not the school I attended. But what happened to the turn... What happened to turn the t world inside the TV to this? On top of that, we entered the TV from our usual entrance, but I ended up in a completely different this place. This has never happened before. Yep. I also realize that my friends aren't with me either. Did we somehow get separated? I start to feel chills down my spine and look around. Hello! Sorry for the wait! Ow! Greetings, boys and girls of Yasugami! The P1 Grand Prix is about to begin! There's no need for manners or courtesy or anything today, so let it all hang out! That's Tell really weird! You really feel. What the? Oh shit, we get a- I shout out questions, but she doesn't answer. This is Risa Kujikawa, one of our friends on the investigation team that we couldn't contact. Does she not hear me, or is she choosing not to respond? As I ask myself this, I hear different voices echoing as well. I look around in surprise. These voices, it's not just from one or two people. I see countless students staring at me from the hallways at the entrance, everywhere I turn. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? I, Rosette, will be your commentator. But first, the General has a few words for you all. What's going on? Why are there so many people inside the TV world? Before I can think of any answers, Risa makes another announcement. And as if on cue, the monitor in the music room turns on. What appeared on, TV on it was Teddy. He was wearing a strange hat and cape, just like he did on the Midnight Channel last night. First Risa, and now Teddy? What are they doing? <laughs> You're all here now. Well then, I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix! Yeah! That's the same as well. That's the same bizarre tournament that was shown on the Midnight Channel. Then, is Teddy really the one behind Teddy, this insanity? What's going on here? We came to look for you and Risei and... Ah, always with the talking, Sensei. It's a big waste of time. Less talk and more fighting. With the next challenger, come on down! Uh-oh. Teddy looks away and makes a dismissive gesture. Smoke suddenly bursts out from underneath me and robs me of any visibility. Is there someone beyond that white curtain? Eventually, my field of vision begins to clear. I keep my guard up, expecting anything. P3 music? Hello? I didn't invite you yet! Since when is Yosuke part of the- You know what, never mind. I- He is literally everyone in P3. Yosuke is literally everyone in P3. <laughs> but who should appear but Yosuke? <laughs> Though I had expected to run into him like this, I'm relieved to see that he's safe. Teddy did say something about Challenger just a moment ago. I recall that the P1 Grand Prix that appeared on the Midnight Channel looked a lot like some kind of fighting competition. Wait, am I supposed to fight Yosuke now? That's not funny at all. Right. They're expecting you and me to fight. <laughs> Looks like. Sheesh, what's Teddy thinking? Starting that up already? 
I won't let you get all buddy buddy with each other. These battles are fought to the death. Only the victor can proceed. This joke's gone on far enough, Teddy. We're not gonna play along with that. I look over at Yosuke, hoping that he would agree with me. But Yosuke did not appear interested in what oh, I had really? to say. I guess he should declare me the winner then. Yosuke? What? You don't plan on fighting, right? That means I win by default. That was not what I expected to hear. What's got into you, Yosuke? Do you have some reason to be talking like this? I can't figure out what's going on. Yosuke continued to speak in a carefree manner and said something that I simply couldn't oh, believe. Is that okay with you? I mean, since Nanako-chan's here and all? Nanako's here? Wait, really? You haven't seen her? She's with Teddy. What? That can't be. I saw Nanako back at the house when I left this morning. And even then, Nanako can't enter the TV world on her own. But she's in this world? I can't believe it for a moment. But what if it's true? Just coming into this world can tire a person out very quickly. On top of that, if someone who can't use a persona comes here, it can sometimes even be Where fatal. Is she? Yosuke, where's Nanako? Whoa, what's gotten into you, partner? No need to get hysterical. Why are you so calm about this? You know what happened to her last time she came here. Nanako did come into this world once last year. It was not something any of us would have wanted to happen. That was the start of a whole chain of events. Remembering them is heart-wrenching, even now. And yet... No, even then, it might be wrong for me to lash out at Yosuke for the way he's acting. Calm down. I need to think straight here. All Yosuke said was that he saw her with Teddy. Then, was Nanako brought here by Teddy if he's the leader of this tournament? Yosuke, be straight with me. Are you sure Nanako is with Teddy? Be straight with me. How can he be straight with you when he's gay? How should I know? If I had to guess, I'd say she's probably still with him. Man, are you alright? Are you that worried about Nanako-chan? It's no wonder people look at you funny, thinking you have a sister complex. <laughs> the sense of wrongness that I've been feeling this whole time is getting even stronger. True, Yosuke may say some insensitive things, but... Mostly that's because he reads too much into a situation and becomes outspoken. He's not the type of guy to enjoy making hurtful remarks like Yosuke, this. Yosuke, are you alright? Huh? What are you talking about? I should be the one saying that to you. She's not even your real sister. All that big bro stuff really creeps me out. Mm. What? It was a while ago that I saw her. It's probably too late to save her now. You know how things went last year, after all. Yosuke. He's definitely not the Yosuke I know. Yosuke is my friend. He wouldn't be so callous as that. At least I thought so up until now. He was the one who had to face the pain of losing someone he cared about when the murders first started last year. I can't hate him for accidentally mentioning someone who was dead, but the way he's acting, he's doing this on purpose. I sadly draw my sword and face Draw your weapon. You'll get your fight. What? Dude, what are you saying? You told me you let me win by default. To be honest, I was thinking that this Yosuke before me was some kind of fake. I even wondered if something had happened to him and Yosuke's shadow had appeared again in this world. But this wrongness that I keep sensing is nothing like that. This probably is the real Yosuke. And the strangest I feel is because his words really are coming out of the mouth of someone I never thought would say them. If so, then... I don't know if you're being controlled or if there's something else going on here. Either way, you must understand the best way to resolve the situation. There's no way to tell if what I'm saying is getting through to him at all. But if I want to figure out what's going on, I'll just have to fall for this trap Sorry, once. but I'm gonna go all out. No hard feelings. And you're gonna fight against your partner after all? Well, whatever. Let's hurry up and get this started. Ready? Oh boy. Uh, yes, please. You as the main character after all, you know. Nothing personnel, kid. Time to be bad at fighting. Finally. Here comes the Yosuke Senpai, Sion of Junus! Oh, fuck. What is this attack? Is she a fortune ordered? What a captivating match! Oh my god, what? Oh god! One rush after another. Oh my god. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yosuke! Stop it, you bitch! Stop! Stop! 
Continue with this? Teddy, about Nanako. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the surprise. If you want to find out, you'll have to get to me. And I can't say why, but I think you should hurry. The monitor shuts off. I still haven't learned anything about Nanako, but it did seem to have been expecting me to ask about her. I don't want to think about it, but Nanako really may be here. The moment the monitor turned off, the students began to leave like waves in the receding tide. No, they don't look like students anymore. There's something inhuman. Just inhum in inhuman. Just taking the shape of students. I was too focused on the fight to notice, but it seems their true forms were coming through. They look like silhouettes. Could they be shadows? Even so, I don't see any hostility from them. Well, if they're not a threat and they're going away, there's no need to chase after them. Besides, there's something more important to Yosuke, do right now. are you alright? I walk towards where Yosuke lies collapsed on the ground and give him a hand to help him up. Ow! Couldn't you hold back a little? I seriously thought you were gonna kill me. The same went for you. I wouldn't have stood a chance if I held back on you. Yosuke grimaces in pain as he stands, but he doesn't seem to have suffered any severe injuries. That's good. I knew I couldn't risk it going easy on him, so I was a little worried that I'd actually hurt him. But once we get a good look at each other, Yosuke's demeanor suddenly anyway, changes. that aside, shut up about the nurses already. It's not like that's the only thing I ever think about. What's this about nurses? Huh? You were harping on it the whole time. How can you stand there and constantly bash my taste in women with a straight face? Is it such a crime to like nurses? <laughs> Wait a second. I don't understand why he's suddenly angry, but he's not making any sense at all. I tell Yosuke to calm down and we go over what he thought had happened before the fight. We learned that our memories of what each other had been saying didn't match up at all. According to Yosuke, it seems that I've been, well, teasing him about his taste in women. Yosuke was so heated up over what I'd supposed to said that he almost went into graphic detail, but I stopped him before things went too far. <laughs> I mean, really, it's best for both of us if we pretended this had never happened. But thanks to our conversation after the battle, I've come to realize something. If we've been <laughs> if we'd been hearing each other say things either of us had been meaning to say, Yosuke, then... let me ask you something. Is it true that Nanako is here in this world? She is? Yosuke's at loss for words. He had no idea what I was talking about. It's just as I thought. Yosuke doesn't know anything about Nanako. If that's true, then what I heard Yosuke saying before the fight was something that Yosuke couldn't possibly have said. This only makes me more convinced that I have the right idea. What I had heard wasn't what Yosuke had meant to say. I don't know how, but something else had made Yosuke say those words even if he didn't know he was saying them. That reminds me, Teddy on the screen had said that I needed to get to him if I wanted to find out the truth. Does that Matt? Does that mean that Teddy had done this to us? I guess there's no choice but to keep going. Nanako is good friends with Teddy. I don't want to imagine it happening, but if Teddy wanted to kidnap Nanako, it's certainly possible he could have. I want to go home at once and check to make sure she's okay, but I have no idea where I am. Even worse, Teddy holds the means of returning to the real world. There's no way out of here unless I find Teddy on my own. Yeah. Well, be careful. Be careful. I'm worried about you. Do your best. I sense a lot of emotion behind those words. Yes, I know that now I'm hearing the real Yosuke. I take Yosuke's cheering me on to heart and leave the music room. Teddy had said that only the winter could... The, the winter, yes. The winter could go on. The winter could go on in this tournament. I don't know exactly what that means, but it's probably not a lie. Yosuke understands that as well. That's why he's trusting me to sort it all out and lets me go without much talk. He's frustrated that he can't help me out. I could just be jumping to conclusions there. After all, Teddy did say that was the rule, but we don't have any proof either way. Hmm, well, I might as well see what he means by that. What he meant by that. I stopped walking and turned back oh, to Yosuke. Uh, one last thing. About those nurses. Ah, quit it already! Are you out of your mind again? Yosuke turns bright red and rushes towards me, flailing wildly in an attempt to stop me from finishing. And bam! There's a painful sounding noise as he runs into something invisible and slowly slides to the floor. What is this? Huh. 
So there's an invisible wall. Looks like the loser can't leave the room. It looks like there's some force that prevents <coughs> the loser from leaving the area where the fight took place. It's likely that everyone, every time one of these battles happens here, the winners will get sorted out this way. That's annoying. Let's see how it works now. Thanks. If Teddy really has kidnapped Nanako, there's no time to lose. Don't use me as your guinea pig. Wait, that's it? Hey, don't wear yourself out, all right? Ah, they're so gay. I turn away as Yosuke shouts at me. Not to worry, Yosuke. I give him a quick smile before leaving the area for real this time. They're so gay! At that moment, I feel a wave of disorientation crash over me. <clears throat> this. I'm surprised that this has happened without warning, but it's not a threat. I'm going to die. After all, I know this feeling all too well. After I reach the next bookmark, I'm going to Welcome stop to the because room. my throat's giving up. <clears throat> I had been leaving the music room, but now I'm sitting in the velvet room for some reason. Margaret greets me with her usual smile. This room truly is mysterious, but why would she summon me like this? Margaret sees my suspicion expression and uh, suspicious expression and speaks Things up. Things have only just begun, and yet you already seem tired. The misfortune that has befallen you can be thought of as a sort of trial. A trial? I want to know the details behind her words, but I know that she won't answer me even if I ask. The inhabitants of the Velvet Room never reveal everything. That's because they can only watch over the choices their guests make. Margaret's smile bro broadens when she sees that I don't intend to ask her anything. Indeed. I am an observer on your journey. I would do nothing so thoughtless as to force you to make choices. You do not need such provocations. I already know that you shine brilliantly enough. This shine she speaks of, could it be about my ability to use personas? Yes, that is part of your brilliance. Personas are masks of resolution, strengthened by controlling one's heart, by forming bonds. You understand this well, don't you? Yeah. That's how we all fought up till now. Yes, indeed. But one's heart is intangible. It cannot be seen and cannot be felt. When polished, it releases a strong light unlike anything else. But it can also be clouded by trivial things. Have you ever felt that way? That may be you true. You may be more conscious of that fact than most because you hold the power of the wild card. Thanks. Bonds. Bonds! Margaret's voice fades away as she answers me. From here on, you will be forced to re-examine the things you know as bonds. Bonds! Thank you, Margaret. How will you face the changes to come, and what choices will you make? I don't know, Margaret. Bam, bam! When I open my eyes again, I'm in the school's hallway. I turn around and see the door to the music room closed behind me. Was I only summoned to the velvet room in spirit? There's no way for me to figure out what just happened, but I think back on what Margaret had told Changes, me. Changes, huh? Even though the people of the Velvet Room avoid saying much, what they do have to say always has meaning. Well, it's true that Margaret has said some strange things while I've known her, but in the anime she sings the long nosed song, and she even doesn't know how to say Black Frost. She always says Black Flow. Black Flow. But she's never said anything he looks well on duty. I would assume that this would be the case now. I may have to keep her words to heart. <laughs> black, black flare. <laughs> okay. Here it is, the thing that I needed. Amazing. We've done it, guys. Clap. Clap. We've done it, boys. Amazing. <laughs> ah, I hope you guys enjoyed the first the first stream of the Persona Arena because honestly, I'm enjoying this game a lot more than I want to admit. I'm glad that I let my own impatience <laughs> work on me because I had fun with this game. I have fun with this too much. <laughs> oh, we gotta do a full on clap. Wait. <laughs> yeah, for for today we're done. Uh, I'm probably gonna continue tomorrow. 
uh, could be or not because I am going to be editing all night because I'm going to bring out a Super Mario Odyssey video. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to bring out a Super Mario Odyssey video tomorrow and, um, I'm, I'm going to try and finish up games one after another. Like, I still have to finish Cuphead. I, oh no. I have to finish Super Mario Odyssey, and then now now we have this, and soon Persona Q is joining the... Actually, no! We have to start a different game beforehand. I said I would do it. We have to play Pokemon Sun, because the new game is coming out soon. The new game is coming out soon! Ah! And then Danganronpa? I have mixed opinions about Danganronpa. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, that's probably the least game I want to play right now. I got quite the list. I have so many more games. Downstairs is Nier Automata and Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm so I'm so filled up with things. I'm gonna die, guys. <laughs> I'm literally I'm literally gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna have to play all these games until the end of the year. Oh my God, Eddie! In your Damn it! Hello, you you reached the end of the stream, but thank you for the seven months, you dude, my dude. But broski. Yeah, but it's a lot of shit. Uh, I need to finish all of this before the end of the year because of Monster Hunter Worlds. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna actually die. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow to continue this. Yeah! Alright guys, I'm gonna see if I can send you to somebody. If anybody's streaming. Right now... Diggins is streaming and... Mm, I know who I can send you guys to. She's currently playing Resident Evil 4. She's my sweet little hun. I love her so much. Give Bandit a very, very hello, nice hello from me. Okay, guys? Go to her chat. Don't say hello to her in my chat. Go to her chat. Right? See you guys later. Huh?